Hello, adventurers, and welcome to Grognard and Friends, where friends gather to explore the Aria and play Dungeons and & Dragons. And speaking of the friends, let's check out this week's episode of Grognard and Friends. Welcome to Grognard and Friends. Welcome back. When last we left the friends, they had completed a heist. Although things didn't go exactly the way they had planned, they still were able to pull it off. And it seems afterwards they weren't the only ones who were looking for this particular artifact. As evident by the people who were waiting for them outside of the place where they took it from as evident by the people who broke into their inn and tried to steal it from them there, and as was evident by the people who messaged Reed in the middle of the night and gave him a command in the form of a threat to bring the artifact to a, to a bar at the docks the very next night. Looking to investigate this a little bit more, it was their new friend Calandra who suggested that they go to her temple, the Temple of Hadoni, in the Alley of Red Lanterns, to see if they could find out more about this bar called the Black Barnacle. They went, they drank, they passed out. Except for Gaius, the cleric of revelry, for some reason, who took the opportunity to read a book. The irony. <laughs> yes. Delicious. <laughs> so, friends, I'm, su I'm supposed to lead people there, not necessarily partake all the time. <laughs> so, Gaius is a little perplexed. Butt Trumpet, Nikita, and Reed are a lot passed out. Kalara <sighs> is with Gaius, and Eldred is nowhere to be found. So, no, that's right. We'll leave it at this <laughs> yeah. point. Gaius. <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, God. All right. We're going to need a call in for assistance. Um, obviously, we're not doing whatever we were planning on doing for the rest of the night. So, um, sending a message to Viv. <laughs> okay. Just going to blow some high level spells real quick. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, Viv, if you're available, could you use your help? currently at the Temple of Hadoni in Red Lantern District. Please come by tomorrow morning if available. New Sending Stone, who's this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still in the Overlook. I will try to meet up with you all soon. And that's all you get there, Gaius. <laughs> <laughs> I had like 20 so more words. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Bleh. oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, That's that elven brevity. So she's so she's on her way. So Since when? So Viv might be <laughs> right? to help out. Luckily, they have all night and looking in at the rest of them. Probably part of the morning into the <laughs> middle of the day for it, some. There, if it also may take a while for them to. Also, see. Eldred's missing. Oh, wait. Well, why don't I just work on that? Okay. Eldred. Eldred. <laughs> Where? Are you still in the building? Are you alive? Have you been kidnapped? Everybody else got drunk and is upstairs in Kalendra's room. Ironically, I am sober-ish. <laughs> right. 
Whoa. You have a few few moments of nothing, and then all of a sudden you hear, I'm still in the building, too. A little busy. <laughs> um, At this point, guys, it's like, ah, turn it off. Turn it off. Ah, turn it off. And, and you cut oh. the spell? Yeah, it's cut. Uh, what? Oh, what? From the what? Now. What? Oh, what? He's, he's in the building. He's in the building and is he detained at the moment? Willingly, I think. <coughs> oh, yes. I didn't want to. I think I knew where his mind was, and I didn't want to be a part of it. Non-consensually, because I kind of just popped in there, and it felt weird. What's happened? <laughs> Wow, it felt weird. You're, okay, you're, okay. you're unconscious, Nikita. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's you popping into his head going, hey, what's going on? Ah! <laughs> right. ah, no! It's no! the equivalent of walking in on him in the shower. <laughs> yep. I would have preferred Look, that. I, I mean, I would like to know which floor he's on so I can speculate what he's doing, but all right, I respect that. <laughs> Nope, I respect some of those floors. Some of those rooms gets wild. Yeah, um, I'll ask him later. Yeah, go right ahead. Don't tell me what you find <laughs> out because I don't want to know. <laughs> um, yeah, figure it out. Keep close, it to yourself. <laughs> yeah, he's a close personal friend that I don't want to get close as, with. As Nikita ways, said, so. you know, shutting the fuck up is free, so I'm free to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Right, she's here somewhere. I feel her with me. Her wisdom yeah, guiding so, me. You know? uh, <laughs> to punch right, and drink. Like, it's so odd. At which point, uh, <laughs> hey, well, I guess I'm just going to. Jesus, it's not even that late. These three have got mm. drunk in like two and a half hours. Yeah. You look, like, as you guys are, as you're all looking at us, like Reed is mysteriously eating something in his sleep. You don't like, know what. Like, you have no idea what it I'm is. I'm just gonna like roll He's him over eating. so he doesn't choke. Yeah. Put him in the side position. Right. Yep. No choking yep. here. This in the room for that, buddy. <laughs> Which uh, floor would yes. that be? <laughs> you you know. <notice> <laughs> That's the that's that's downstairs. <laughs> that's, that's okay, fun. so you've established where everybody is. Uh, do you take this okay. opportunity to go to sleep, guys, or do you do anything else? What time is it exactly, Paul? Is it like super it's early? Cool. Is it? No, is it's it like... uh, you. They took their time, and they actually had this oh, long, they... drawn out dinner and drinks and thing. And you were studying for quite a while, going through cigar, a couple cigars and numerous okay. uh, glasses of wine, and just yeah. kind of saving. He kind of looks. He kind of looks around. Is this room packed? This room is now packed with people, right? <laughs> it's well. There's six of you. I mean, uh, five of you. Hey, Calandra, do they just like rent empty, like? A room for a person without extra amenities. Without the bonus. <laughs> um. Yeah. Do they just have like? Is that a thing? Or you know what? Don't even if worry that's about what it. You... Like, guys, like drags in a chair from outside oh. and like props his it's feet like up it's... on the desk and just kind of like leans back against the wall. <laughs> He's like, ah, I'm just sure this won't affect my sciatica in the morning. I'll be fine. <laughs> I you. We, you can get a room with without people come through. It's not just oh, you know, people oh, okay. don't well, always come guess... just for that kind of entertainment. There are you people come to gamble. People come to just drink. People come to eat. It's I don't know. People come to have I, meetings. I, like I wasn't you know, sure. it's not only I'm it's not a convention. Right. It is. A... <laughs> we host is all kinds coming? of events here. I feel. <laughs> I'm chanting. That's what, oh. of it's like Avenue in Manhattan. 
<laughs> gotcha. It's yeah. I don't have a regular room. Next week is a Pokemon convention. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Those fuckers Pokemon. are wild. <laughs> yeah, I do that and then I go to sleep. Guys, so some guys say that you you uh boring. <laughs> you wake up first because you uh you went the the lightest last night on on activities. I had say. I had a standard amount of drinks because I assumed <laughs> we were doing things. Jason. Whoa! Hey, you're not here right now. <laughs> Conscience. <laughs> Yes, so, also I wake up first. Yes. I go down for the brunch. Don't say it. <laughs> what? I'm just you... waiting for the end. <laughs> and... Oh, I was just going down for the brunch. I assume they serve some form of breakfast here. People seem to sleep over. <laughs> you go downstairs. What's the early morning crowd like? Yeah. <laughs> you go downstairs, there still are some people Haggard. going in, coming in, mm-hmm. like after a long night elsewhere. Um, yeah, you know, Gotta you recognize service, service staff. You recognize still about three people in the corner still playing cards that were there last night when you came in. Vacation right there. <laughs> Magic the Gathering. <laughs> Wrong game. <laughs> Right, called the fuck out. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to play Dragon? No, let's play Tragic the Gathering. Um, <laughs> a game Trauma. you guys are the well game. familiar with. Tragic um, the Scattering. There you go. Yes. So there is a uh, bartender over there who who could help you out if you need something. I uh, uh yeah. Hello, um, uh, something with, uh, caffeine in it, and booze, caffeine and booze. You guys seem to have everything here. I thought this town was on a shortage, but, um. Well, sir, we, we do cater to all sorts of people, which gives us all sorts of reach, as it were. Ah, excellent. You can take that Um, any way you'd like, sir. Yes, uh, you can reach around and everything, that's excellent. Um, (laughs) No I need will... to get graphic, sir. In what? between. <laughs> I will have uh, the, the standard breakfast. Do you have anything? Oh, you want nothing? Bre- breakfast? <laughs> I no, I don't want it with whatever quotation part. I want a n- normal breakfast. Like oh. Stand- like, oh, that. Okay. Like, if you, like if, you, if you leave here and would go to a normal purveyor of foods breakfast. Gotcha. Full breakfast, yeah, sir? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, Coming right up. Next... Wait. Oh. <laughs> what's, what's full breakfast? <laughs> it's, a, it's a big breakfast, sir. It's what oh, you would uh, get at a very large purveyor of food, as you said. Ah, uh, you know what? Oh, uh, I have. I'm going to be active. I think through the uh, earlier part of the day. Let's do like a, a half, if that's an option, or like a, half? a smaller one. Okay, yeah, half. Hey, whatever, half. Half of a full breakfast. Okay, sure, sure sir. And he walks okay. off into the back. Um, Why did he... I feel like I was the weird one for wanting to eat less? Because <laughs> he mutters to himself. So some woman, some woman walking by goes, "You're in a house of excess." I don't know, and continues to walk on. Woman, I live in excess. <laughs> I'm, I'm walking I excess. I can limit excess. my, I can limit myself on occasion. Damn it! You hear a clip clop, clip clop, and a, oh. another person comes down the stairs with a donkey that you recognize and a goat and says you recognize they, the, the goat and the donkey <laughs> oh no <laughs> recognize, recognize the person right not no <laughs> they, and and says go take care of 214 they really need to go out and he didn't pay for that 
and says, okay, no problem, and leaves with the animals, and the woman rushes upstairs. You see all oh sorts God. of what, people. What room is Eldred in? <laughs> people coming and going, and from down the hall, you hear what sounds like an argument as it's getting closer to you and louder. And it sounds like a number of, of males arguing with a very stern, very strong-willed female. You eventually, after a couple moments, see this woman with a couple of very large men uh, dressed in togas kind of uh, well, ushering, like out, ushering out this group of about 12 dwarves towards the front door... <laughs> And is saying, I understand, Mr. Ironbeard, but we don't have anyone by that name here. I'm very sorry. And you're going to have to pay. Yes, I know you spent you and your you and your brothers and cousins and uncles spent the entire night. The bill is what it is. I don't care how much it is. That's I know it's a lot, but you you decide to spend the night. You decide to to take our partake of our services. That is the price, and and this is it. Kind of goes goes off into another room. Oh dear. <laughs> well, I hope Nikita doesn't walk down anytime soon. That would have gotten awkward. As I'm sitting there sipping whatever I have. Like, okay, he, he actually <laughs> finally serves you, and it seems like coffee with a spirit that is not dissimilar from tequila. But hmm. basically, it's like... Is it mezcal? A little bit possibly, harsh. yeah. It's it's a it's not like what you're used to, usually. Oh, this, is, yeah, this, is a, this is a pick-me-up right here. Thank you. No problem, <laughs> sir. Ugh. Oh dear, yes, that's good. Well, um, so did they get escorted out of the building, or just to a different portion of the building? Just to a different portion of the building. Okay. Okay. Um. Huh. Uh, I'm gotta run back up to my room real quick. Um, I'll just. Do you mind if I take the drink with me, or? Go ahead, there, sir. So. Try yeah, not to nice spill it. Oh yeah, no problem. I, you know, before he does, uh, he takes which out. which floor are you going to, sir? Because some of the floors have very expensive rugs. Some of them have, you know, all weather rugs, depending on on the floor. Well, you know, what? Oh, here, you know what? Instead, just watch the drink. I'm just dropping a note off to a friend. Oh, okay. And as I write down, <laughs> Nikita, all those damn dwarves from before are here. Be careful coming out of the room. <laughs> and I just walk upstairs to Kalandra's room, slip the note under, and come back downstairs. That's okay. All no problem. And sit back down at my at my stool, start doing my drink, and I'm like, man, I hope she's perceptive enough to see that later. <laughs> no problem. It's about this time that your your food comes out. It's a huge platter, and it's served to you, and says half a full breakfast, sir. And it, this it's this is half. You guys really are about excess here. Holy crap! It's yeah. it's ham. It's sausages. It's bacon. It's eggs three different ways. It's uh, blood pudding. It's white pudding. It's baked beans, grilled tomatoes, mushrooms. The aroma is like curling up the stairs. So it, like it hooks Reed by the nose. <laughs> Just floating down, like still asleep. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I I start eating some of it. Like I'm not eating all of this. Definitely, you can see guys like with a napkin, like putting the stuff that'll like last longer in it. And just like, <laughs> putting, putting it like oh, and there's a couple yeah. different types of breads and cakes and mu stuff there as well. Jesus with Christ! Fresh butter and cream. Yeah. Yeah. That's he's definitely like. Yeah. It's like a loaf of bread. He just kind of like folds that up and just like, yeah. start like later. <laughs> later. <sighs> like I know I'm gonna be paying an arm and a leg for this stuff. I might as well just make it last. 
So, yeah, that's all he does. He eats. Okay. Well, that'll take you a little while. Read Butt Trumpet and Nikita. You. I need the three of you all to make me a constitution saving throw, please. Make me a constitution saving throw. Lucio. Lucio. Feel free to use the. uh, There we go. Nikita, you have a tiny bit of a headache. Um, You're also kind of stiff from sleeping on the floor face down. Not on a mattress or anything, but just kind of looking like a bearskin rug in the middle of the floor there. Um, (laughs) Nikita was planking. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Reed, you have a weird taste in your mouth. You realize because you've been chewing on one of the large tassels of the pillow that you were on all night. On the pillow. pillow. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, Buttram. I just caught that. Um, (laughs) Yeah, just now. Just. And and there's a... What? And there's, uh, you, you notice there's all sorts of drool on the pillow around the tassel and everything. But you, you your stomach's a little, it, it's okay. But uh, you have a bit of a headache, but that's about it. You do smell something that might be food. You remember <laughs> smelling that once when you were in the, just by the outside door of a a kitchen on a farm once. Um, Butt Trumpet, you're going to be moving a little slower, but you're you're okay. Your head kind of hurts. You feel a little woozy, but... Are there any sunglasses in the room that I can put on? (laughs) Oh, (laughs) With a 19, absolutely. Perfect. I'm absolutely doing that. Lots of accessories they in here. They are actually really, really big. Mm. They, they kind of look like, make you look like the fly. Um, Excellent. <laughs> Wake up, guys. Nikita, stop trumpet. Nikita. Nikita, give me a uh, perception check, please. Nikita, give me a uh, perception check, please. Nikita, give me a uh, perception check, please. 14 minus 2. Okay, you notice a scrap of paper underneath the door, like right on the other side of the, right by the door on the floor. Oh, shit, are we getting kicked out for sleeping? I I bend down. Don't worry about the paper. Do you smell the food? No, I, I don't oh. smell a fucking thing. I was asleep on the floor, so the nose is like bent. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's like you're made out of rubber. Right, exactly. Uh, I would like to pick up the note and read it. And it says, Gaius? Nikita, hey, remember all those dwarves from before that you definitely told to come to this location that we're now at? You know, all the ones that are demanding money. Well, they came here and are demanding free services. Got services are now caught up. So uh, whatever you do when you come downstairs, I don't know, look different. Don't come down. Just be aware. Is Love, guys. Is okay. Calandra awake yet? <laughs> is Calandra awake yet? Uh, no, what? Give like... me a constitution <laughs> saving throw there, Calandra. <laughs> Everyone talking around me. <laughs> Everyone talking around me. <laughs> Everyone talking around me. Sixteen. Uh, we'll say a lot of the discussion gets you. Uh, we'll say up. a lot of the discussion gets you. Well, <laughs> I'll just start Did rambling along else? with the words as they repeat. Did anybody else hear that scary breathing in there when we? <laughs> yep. I did. Okay. Okay. Just, we got ghosts. Yep. I got it. So, okay. what do you do? What uh, What's going on, guys? 
I smell cooking. We should go find that. Okay. Slow down. <laughs> Slow down. I jump Slow up. Down. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. Uh, Calandra, do they... Um, I'm thinking butt trumpet isn't feeling too well. Is no. there a way to get okay. food or water? <laughs> brought up to the room on this floor yeah this is safe yeah yeah this floor okay. is fine okay. <laughs> this floor is okay okay calandra calandra come here so i don't have yeah, to yeah, yeah. talk too loud i would like the biggest glass of orange juice possible with absolutely no trace of alcohol a buttery biscuit and something cheesy with potatoes Thank you so much. Okay. I'm going to die. Um, trust me when I say you'll be fine. But um, we're, we're, we need to get something to you. You're impressive. You are impressive. You put away an impressive amount of of. of Food and drink last night. We'll we'll take care of it. You know we're we're I'm gonna get you. I'm pretty food. sure I can't donate blood for a few days. <laughs> it's because there's no blood left. Uh, it's does you know what does any do I need to get food? Uh, I can go down and get food for us too. I, I would for you appreciate the food. I can help you. I would appreciate what butt trumpet ordered just because apparently okay. there are dwarves lying in wait for me downstairs did okay so you hmm. and you you told him the fake name not the real name right you didn't tell him what? Andrew. you told him foxy codon foxy nope. codon nah i told them foxy, foxy codon okay but they know vivalda's name I don't think they know my name. I don't remember actually. But da, I gave them Foxy Codone. Okay. I uh, I pull my dagger out and I look at it. Did I auto tune to this thing yet? <laughs> <laughs> In your head, you hear. <laughs> I don't think your settings are synced up yet. Right. <laughs> no. Okay, Rita. No, you, uh, you have not yet attuned to that because you haven't had time to just sit with it and focus. Mm. Too many food distractions. Read, um, drinks. Yeah, we too many food and drinks. We can leave Nikita here to watch Butt Trumpet while we go get food. Okay. Sounds and water good. and orange juice with no alcohol. <laughs> to bring to them. Okay. No problem. And we get some food for ourselves. There you go. So you and Reed leave the room. As I um, as I were going I'm still out the dressed door from last before. night, so <laughs> I put my head back in and I look at Nikita and I'm like, so am I am I stabbing dwarves if I see them? What, what's this about dwarves? Uh no need just yet unless they get out of order and someone asks you to. Um Okay. Have we oh, talked about you stabbing people a lot lately for no reason? <laughs> well, no, I thought maybe there was a reason. I thought maybe there was a reason, so that's why I was no, asking. No, no, no face stabbing this time. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Please be happy. Go eat. Seriously, okay. I'm worried about that dagger. Why? Right. right. I can't wait till I till I uh, uh, auto tune to it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see what it does. Okay, and I just read, read that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll okay. put the knife up. We'll. I'll keep an eye on him. <laughs> okay, you you <laughs> take Reed up. downstairs yep. a number of floors, and <laughs> takes you downstairs, and you leave him with Gaius, who has a huge plate of food, and you would that you then just need to go back into the kitchen. I slide right up to the guys. Is this to share? Uh, <laughs> yes. In fact, it is. Yeah. And guys slides over like a large portion of it. Okay. 
Uh, Calandra, you go into the kitchen. You tell them your situation. They're like, we'll, we'll, we know your room. We'll send it right up for you. Not a problem. Take good care of it. You do what you got to do. When you're coming out of the kitchen, you still hear, you hear an argument between the matron of the house and a bunch of men. It's getting louder. You hear, it seems to be about money. These, these people don't want to pay. And it, you're used to this sort of thing because people come here all the time when they've had too much to indulge. And the next morning when the bill comes due, they're shocked because they don't remember any of the night. So this seems par and parcel for you until you hear the name Foxy Codone and the matron saying there is no one here by that name. <gasps> but it, it is coming from the direction of the matron's office. And when you come out of the kitchen and look down the hallway, you can see about five of the big burly guys who serve multiple, multiple they take care of multiple jobs here uh, at the mm -hmm. temple, uh, including bouncing in all the forms that that requires, as right? well yeah. as other, other services as well. But they're just waiting outside the door. The door is open. The argument's continuing. Just going to look over to the bartender. Like, how long has that been going on? Um, about a half hour. And they haven't gotten bounced yet? She normally doesn't put up with stuff for this long. Yeah, well, from what I gather, the bill is pretty extensive. Ooh. We don't get... I know what happens normally when they try to stiff us. It's not that, it's not that bad. Yeah, well, from what I gather, the uh, call has gone out to the guards. It's gone to that point. Um, but wow. word back already was that there there's some other priority that they're focused on and have been for the past day, so... Hmm. So they'll, they'll get here when they get here, if they get here, is the general message. Well, the guys will keep them in check until then, I know. It'll, but what a, some people. So, okay, so you, uh, you head back out and you see Gaius sitting there with a mug of something steaming and looking at some notes with his glasses on his nose, looking kind of, you know, relaxed. And you just see Reed going, You from, from the back you see there two hands just going like this. And occasionally, occasionally. you see little, like, crumbs going up in the air. Occasionally guys just reaches over and grabs, like, a piece of toast. <laughs> How's the breakfast, Reed? <laughs> mm. Oh, mm. very good. Thank you. <laughs> and it's about this time, Gaius, that you get a message. Ah. Hello, Gaius. It was hard getting out of the overlook. I'm in the market. Where are you again? Okay. So before I send the message, Calandra, 25 words or less, describe how to, for someone to get here. Oh, fuck. And then I assume we have this conversation sidelines that we're not actually trying to figure this And then <laughs> I, re I relay that to them. Okay. Just ba so we're not. Okay. V basically, the message is what alley to go down off the dock because that's the easiest way to find it it's about a bl block and a half off the dock of this one alley and you're given a lamp couple landmarks uh nikita and butt trumpet yeah a, a uh there is a knock on the door um uh. <laughs> i will get it stay there don't move do we have any I water can't. in the room? Well, that makes life easy then. <laughs> Stay. 
<laughs> no twitching even. That shit gets weird. Uh, do we have any water in the room that I can... Or is it maybe just a bowl to keep near them? <laughs> <laughs> a bucket, perhaps? <laughs> there know, are... Like you do. There are some some bowls in the room. Good. I will uh, just set one in the vicinity of Butt Trumpet, and then I will answer the door. I will peek out the door first and go, can I help you? Yes, it is a, uh, a woman looking very, very tired. Uh, she looks to be wearing a strange form of leather armor. Her hair is pulled back very severely. She has very severe makeup. It's obviously oh studded leather, unlike anything you've seen before, and uh, has a tray. And it's got lots of biscuits, fresh butter, a pitcher of orange juice, a pitcher of water, uh, a bowl with fresh butter, and also a bowl of fresh fruit, assorted fruit. Spasiba, uh, Lichna. Um, I will tip them a uh, silver. Is that enough? Gold? What do you think? Any money? Any money? I'd you say and... gold. All right. I will tip them a gold, and then I will point at a region of studded leather <laughs> and say, Happy Harry? We get a discount, she says. So I have heard. Spasiba. Thank you. You bet. Close Come see me sometime. Them. Ah, and How you shut the door. She? Uh, she was probably about 6'5". No! Oh, damn! Nice. Large. I go. I'll go back over to Butt Trumpet and very carefully start laying things out while I describe the good-looking oh. six-foot-five person in studded happy hairy leather that brought <laughs> the food. Oh yeah. So I'm, um, I'm definitely coming around. On this, um, good time gods thing. This is this could be fun as long as, you know, like the whole. Seriously, they need to stop dealing in animals. That's just weird. I, yeah, you know, they could at least have a completely separate location for that. Right, take them out As, back to the stable, or... It, you just, just why out and about? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad they had this. I remember when I was with Alistair, he often met for breakfast with Sir Robert of the House of Evan, and we had breakfast just like this every morning. Who was that? Sir Robert? Robert of the House of Evans. Robert of the House of Evans. I am not familiar with him, but if you're having a breakfast only, like this, if... he only does business in certain Bob. areas. Bob to his friends. Exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, guys, and we just and start happily. No problem. Yes. <laughs> Mention. Gaius is down there with Reed. It, it's kind of amazing. I'll leave it up to you how you feel about watching Reed eat from this platter. Um, <laughs> it's more like I need... It's more like when you're at... Uh, oh, God, like Splash Mountain or you're at like the... With the, with the whales or something and you're in the front row and you gotta have the tarp up. Or like a Gallagher shell with the watermelons. <laughs> Probably more like that one. Yeah, more like a Gallagher shell. Guar. 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 Yes, uh, that's Welcome to the All You Can Guar Buffet. Reference. The Interplanetary Buffet. So you go through all of that. It's a little bit of time. It, about midway through, you hear a lot of... Uh, commotion and a lot of raised voices and what even sounds like banging against walls and doors and everything and shortly thereafter you see a series of about six to eight very large men 
some of them humans, some of them uh, you're not quite so sure, but definitely a form of humanoid, but very big, wearing togas, and you can tell even a little eye makeup and such, each with a dwarf by the scruff of the neck in one hand, one or two of the bigger ones actually also have one under an arm, each arm, and they are going and... They are escorting them out. They're kicking and screaming. You hear the name Foxy Codon numerous times being yelled, and that they're supposed to pay the warden. Hey, the warden and their their dwarven assistant promised and everything. And you'll hear from their their uh, solicitors and blah 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 blah. And they are taken out the door, kicking and screaming, knocking over some things as they go. Even when the door is shut, you hear them yelling, and they just, the yelling disappears into the distance. As the door shuts, with my mouth full, I look up at guys, and I'm just like, mm, I've been there before. Mm. What? <laughs> what do you, wait, hold on. Which part? I get, I get picked up all the time. <laughs> oh, uh, you, I'm, I'm small. you spend a decent portion of your time unconscious or being kidnapped <laughs> from behind you you stuff. hear someone uh, someone say you sound like my sort of customer what, what's your name man young man hmm? who, who is behind me <laughs> <laughs> there, there's, why there's, does this always happen <laughs> there, there's a again. uh an older woman behind you and and uh, dressed in a business suit, it looks like. Very well put together. Very nice. Uh, puts her hand on your shoulder and says, why don't you come with me and we'll, I'll show you around. Uh, I've already seen most of this place, but it's really good food. You should eat with us. What was your favorite floor? Um... I was asleep most of the time. I don't know what floor I was on. <laughs> oh, that's that's interesting. I, I don't think I've ever met somebody like you before. No, he is one of a kind. I, oh, I can see that. I can see that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good to meet you. I'm, uh, I'm just going to finish my breakfast. Okay. You, uh, you just asked for... Uh, Sally, next time. For, for what? Next time you come in. I'll take good care of you. <laughs> okay. And, and Sally walks walks off down the hall. I look at guys. I'm like, we already know Calandra. What do we need to know Sally for? <laughs> uh, you know what? It's too early. Nope. Let's do it. I'll explain do it. it later. I'll explain you, it later. You... What's up? So you said you said Viv is coming here? Mm. Yes, yes. So good thing you guys overindulged. Now uh, Viv gets to partake in the fun and when we go to Black Barnacle. I hope she doesn't run into the clan, everyone. The um Hoping she well, they're kind of being escorted somewhere. Oh, that'd be super awkward. <laughs> oh, she doesn't engage. I don't know if she even remembers them. She didn't really say anything to them ever. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be fine. <laughs> Just good at talking with people. Nikita and uh but Trumba, you probably finished your breakfast about this point. Okay. Hold on. Do you think it's safe to go downstairs? It is possible, but uh, how are you feeling first? Let's cover all the bases before... I'm assuming... I don't know what floor we're on. Did we hear any of the commotion? Hmm. The dwarf tossing? <laughs> Ew. So, so someone walks by and says, if you're interested, that's on the sixth floor. I can help you with that. 
Which part? Yeah. Dwarf tossing. Okay. I'm good. <laughs> I toss. This is getting worse. Wait, with that, okay. that yep. Either way, cost the same. Get out of here! <laughs> oh, bye. <laughs> He is like in front of the door, like, what the fuck was that? Jeez! Is exactly what it it's is. eight in the morning! Don't any of you take a break! Apparently. It's five when o'clock you take somewhere. To excess, you even take taking excess to excess. Um, anyway, God, how slow. am I feeling in terms of hangovers? Uh, you're going to have a headache for a little while, but you'll be okay. I'll probably live, um, I'll be pissed off at everyone talking very loudly downstairs, but I can't exactly turn the world down, so we should probably go. I think Calandra is muted, or very quiet. Um, what about the, uh, what shape is the pillow was Reed was gnawing on in? Could we, like... Make that a, a funky kind of Phyllis Diller hat. Who was Can it? Who we get the noise hats? canceling headphones? <laughs> yes. Noise canceling, halfling drooled upon headphones. Gross. I'll get an infection. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Squish. Then I have to say that I got That's an infection not... <laughs> at the Temple of Hedoni. From Reed. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jeez, from Reed, Welcome to hell, though. I'm so uncomfortable here. <laughs> I know. My skin got up and crawled out before I passed out last night. <laughs> Is that why everything's getting on your nerves? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway. Okay. So you make it downstairs. Uh, I will have butt trumpet on my shoulders or is that comfortable for you or yeah, that's i can try fine. okay does it do you think oh oh uh i have one of Ruth's bandanas can i tie down butt trumpet's ears to her their head <laughs> so she they look like a lop-eared goblet and but that'll stop the am i making any sense absolutely it it's making plenty of sense okay. and i love it so much. It's so cute. Every now and then, yay. <laughs> a little bit like a no. looking a little bit like a basset hound goblet. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Mind your steps here. <laughs> but a, the ve one a very one. old female basset hound goblet because you know the old women with the with the babushkas. Oh. Um the babushka. Da. Hey, so, you leave my babushka out of this. Yeah. <laughs> you come downstairs. <laughs> you go downstairs. Uh, Gaius, you're the one who probably notices Nikita and Butt Trumpet coming down the stairs very slowly. Ah, <laughs> oh, good morning. Oh, Gaius, no. He knows what he's doing. I know exactly he's what he's doing. He's done it before, doing. and he'll do it again. And one day I will kill him. We don't. We don't. We Why don't talk not today? Here. We don't talk because we have shit to do and we need a healer. <laughs> we, this is true. We we don't like to talk. But about neither here. of us is covered in vomit this time to hug him back. That's true. Yes, you've kept your shit together. Give us no. time. We just had breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> that was. How was your breakfast, Nikita? Did they who who brought it to you? A very tall, attractive woman in studded leather, and I didn't get the name. Ooh, like six foot five, five tall, nice. huge goddess. She was awesome. Kalandra, you know I who think that together is. We should take. I you can. Know. I can. Oh, go ahead, Paul. Find out. I was going to say, you know who that is. They're very popular. I, you're not the only one who feels that way there. She has a, she's a lot of admirers. She's a, more for the people who, who, she, 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 she's just, she's very, very, very popular here. 
But um, you Ooh. know. I hey, could, does that make her cheaper? Can... Should I even be thinking no. like this? No. Anyway. No, she's she let's just say she's she's more in demand. Uh people <sighs> really like her. She's popular that way. She's not uh affordable. What's your name? Or a large portion. I totally know her What's... name. I cool. totally Tell know us her. what it is. The name that she has that you know. <laughs> All right, quick. Let's workshop this right now. What is this woman's name? What is the leather mommy's name? Um... Le Jack Jacqueline? I just found it. You know that her real name is Gertrude. Um, Gertrude. Perfect. But but she does that's not her working name. But anyway, it's about this time everyone has had their fill of breakfast. You you see the bouncers come back kind of just shaking their head and going back to their things. You guys are about ready. You have just about everybody and you're pretty much ready to leave. Just waiting on Eldred. <laughs> Da. Did we? Oh, where is Eldred? Did we find him? <laughs> no. Don't yeah, don't ask. Or in the building we'll somewhere. It. He's here. Yeah. He's busy. What floor is he on? We we don't know. Didn't ask. Didn't want to know. know. He's Guys here. didn't ask. So is he this doing is wizard stuff? Hmm? What? Uh, he might be doing wizard stuff. Hmm. Is that what we call it these days? Up, oh, um, yeah. About I mean, this time, you see, way, you yeah. see Eld Eldred come down the stairs. Please describe to us how Eldred's doing. Uh, really, really, really messy and out, out of sorts, and but with a great big smile on his face, and uh, being helped down the stairs by uh, three young ladies, and oh. who, who hand him his shoes and. They look exceedingly oh. tired. He's just smiling <laughs> ear to ear, and he, he's there barefoot, one pant legs halfway up his leg. The, the the robes are halfway down his shoulder. He's got lipstick smears all over his face, and he, he just takes, he, he goes, and he starts rooting around in a gold, in his purse sack there, and just looks at him and goes, oh, hell, here. Thank you, ladies. It's been a pleasure. And he comes over no. and goes, We ready to go, guys? <laughs> yeah, how was your 214 there, bud? Um, good. Oh, that, that, yes. we, we switched to two more floors after that, but it was it was fun. It was Eldred. good. Yeah, Here, have some water. You look dehydrated. Yeah. <laughs> He needs like well, screw the water. He needs like what shells equivalent of a uh, Gatorade. Pedialyte, <laughs> electrolyte. Yeah. Light. <laughs> Were they trying to steal your pants, Elder? You put some sugar and some salt in this water for him. Like they Gatorade. stole them, but they gave them back. <laughs> I left they just the kept stream taking them from me. For three weeks. <laughs> I left the stream for three weeks. What on earth? Okay. <laughs> I never took Elder this for the just time happened to last break week, hearts and beds, but add. all right. <laughs> Learn something new every day. I had something planned, and Calandra says, everyone, come to the temple. And it all went to shit. <laughs> you, you had a map ready. You, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Calandra said she could go by her... She offered... To go, the DM she wasn't had a like, map hey, ready let me go. like throw out some bullshit. Have you seen a map <laughs> of, of the temple any time in the past? Whatever, there was a red light map, yes, that was ready, yes, and <laughs> that, that was very safe. <laughs> that, that was very safe. It was a safe spot, it was a safe spot for safe, anyway. Anyway, so you're ready to leave. I start, I start pocketing as much. Leftover breakfast as I can. If there's okay, any stop, uh, stop putting me. black pudding in your pockets. <laughs> not. That will it's not, not what you think it is. Solids. You need. What about Viv Vivalda? Do we have we heard back from Vivalda? Oh, uh, she is on her way. So we could probably just sit for a minute if she's almost here. Guys, you know that. Uh, 
she might be a little uncomfortable here just from your knowledge of her and with the directions you gave her you could probably meet her at the intersection where the alley meets the docks mm -hmm. okay yeah i a voice comes to my head and i'm like yeah that's a good idea let's do that <laughs> and then i say it aloud so there's a voice in your head that just wants you to get out of the temple by this point <laughs> I don't, mm, Bacchus do I is wanna... feeling a little like <laughs> yeah, getting a little jelly. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. Are you okay to Bacchus walk? Bacchus is there? going. My parishioners, I get no respect. Um, but to say, can Eldred can Eldred walk without help? Too bad. He goes. <laughs> <laughs> you know that donkey would really come in there. handy about now. Well, we we can't mm. we can't take the donkey out. I know. Can, I don't want to think about the it. donkey. Can we not talk about the donkey? <laughs> tell me about the rabbits. Um, we tell you about the rabbits every session. <laughs> so do you guys leave? Yes. yes. Sure. If oh, you yes. think we can meet up with her, duh. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if uh, worse comes to worse, we just come back here again. <laughs> <laughs> that I think might be worse. Listen, Viv's might got a communication point. brooch on, on herself. I'm sure if she runs into an issue, she will definitely remember it one of these times and use it. <laughs> uh, Calandra, on the way out, the uh, the matron stops mm -hmm. you, just says, we'll talk later. I know you have to go. You're going to be picking up a lot of extra shifts. Yeah. I, I, I saw... I'll, I'll work the third floor. <laughs> Just Do so we hear know. this? Uh, What's on the third floor? <laughs> exactly. Calandra, what's hey, on Elgin, the third you floor? On the third? Hey, Elgin, were you on the third floor? On the third floor? Nikita, give me a perception <laughs> check, please. Nikita, give me a yes. perception check, please. No one speaks about the third floor. No one speaks about the third floor. No one speaks about the third floor. Oh, yeah. Quattro. You don't hear a thing. You're so busy listening to uh, Gaius and Reed talking about Vivalda and uh, meeting up and guys is like, well, we could always bring her back here. And and you're kind of focused probably on, yeah, good. probably not a good idea. So but why? <laughs> if I'm this place makes butt trumpet so and I people. uncomfortable, I'm pretty sure Viv would rather cut her own hair again. <laughs> oh no! I don't. I don't. I don't think. I don't think she did that willingly. I think that kind of just got melted off. This is what I'm saying. Anyway. You, you putting those pieces together there about our our excitement to be here and the enthusiasm there? I don't know. You guys seem to have a great time. We would like to leave, please. That was coping, okay. and we would like to leave. <laughs> oh, okay. Good. Good. All, you really good food. Is, all you gotta do is ask. Just, just we are. As in, off, someone meant to exhibit a certain amount of empathy for others, one would expect a certain reading of nonverbal cues every once in a while. Good sir. So you're saying you don't want to be here? I swear to God. <laughs> as, if you want as to kill him, I'll back you up. <laughs> As we're going I'm, out, I'm, I, uh... Come on! Just my, hold me in the air while I'm kicking and swinging. Let me at him! Let me no. at him! Let I'll me do it! Close to him, but just out of reach. Mm. <laughs> oh no, I'm... All, I'm it takes, uh, yes. all it takes, guys, is me slipping a little bit. <laughs> Okay, but Which be careful. They had a lot to drink. Like, if they start flailing around, they might. It's a flamethrower over here. Shaking them up like a soda bottle. <laughs> this is why I aim them carefully. 
Why do I keep getting threats? This is it, not it, my idea. Would this be categorized as a cross goblin? As a weapon? <laughs> I am thinking that would require bolts of some kind. Yeah, I, I already got that taken care of, I have a feeling. Like a bowstring of some... No, I was just thinking, like, you mechanism. aim it and squeeze. Um, <laughs> That's a toothpaste tube. There you go. So, yeah, Gaius... The building while <laughs> Gaius and Nikita each, Gaius Gaius each give me a perception check, please. check, please. Gaius and Nikita each give me a perception check, please. Well, okay. I'm reading that wrong. It takes you a few moments, Gaius, but when you leave the temple, it shuts behind you. You're having this discussion out in front of the temple with Nikita and Butt Trumpet as Nikita holds Butt Trumpet in front of, <laughs> in front of her and everything, yeah. and you're just like... And it's at this point that you turn around just as Butt Trumpet's going. <laughs> and right. you notice at the end of the alley that you came in, a whole bunch of, there's a like two guards and a whole bunch of dwarves who are soaking wet. Like yelling at the guards. Uh... I immediately take Nikita and Butt Trumpet, grab them both, and just turn them in the other direction and push. Okay. Shoot. Go. Yeah. Okay. So you guys, Reed, you're just kind of sitting there gnawing on the same piece of bacon fat for like the past 10 minutes. <laughs> and you notice that everyone else has left going the opposite direction. Now, I, I, I push them in that direction. Uh, just wait over here, because that's the way we came. That's where Viv is probably going to end. Right, well, you know the alley continues down. Oh, okay. So, yeah, guide them up and around to basically cut off the dwarves before Viv heads into them. Right. So you they can might go... know what she looks like. You can go down yep. and... Um... You when you as you turn to go, you notice that the dwarves and the guards are headed this way towards the temple, and you're headed away from it at at, at, at a little trot, and and you yeah. go down, you pass a whole bunch of other uh, places of business, a um, couple pubs that you you noticed last time you were here, and you go down about another block and a half till you hit another alley that goes both ways. And you know all you have to do is make a right, and it's a block and a half to the docks. You go down to the corner of that alley and the docks to your left. You can see down quite a bit. You have a really, because it's a beautiful morning. It's a clear day. The docks are still kind of hopping. There's a lot of people on the docks. But down, really far down a couple miles, you can see what looks like a little bit of a blockade at the end of the docks. Mm. Okay? But you want to go the opposite direction. You're at the corner on one side of the alley is, uh, is a tavern called the Holy Ship. On the other is the Hairy Lemon. <laughs> and you go a little bit further, and it's the Ship House. And uh, you go yeah. down that way a little bit, and you'll eventually uh, come to the alley where you know that Viv is going to eventually show up. Viv should be here in some kind of time. <laughs> some kind of time. And it's about that time that uh, you're there for like maybe two minutes when, when uh, guys, you see Viv starting to turn down the alley towards... Uh, the alley of red lanterns. She does. She doesn't seem to see you because you're on the other side of the docks. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> how does how um, does Viv look? Intact? <laughs> yeah, just a little harried. Uh, 
like they they've had quite a morning already. Like they've had a full rich day all in the course of a morning. <sighs> hey, babe. Hey. Hey, babe. You made it out of the overlook alive. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. It was wild trying to get out of there. Did you get to do that really? crazy oven sleep thing? Or have you been up all night? We were drinking. We Did drank so much. Did I get so a chance much. to rest? <laughs> Did I get a chance to rest, Paul? Uh, not last night, no, because of how you had to get here. Yeah. No, I... I just... I just kind of kept going to make sure I could find you guys in time. That's all right. I think we'll have a potential opportunity to, for you to uh, maybe relax for a few hours before um, activities happen. Don't oh, forget that so, people want to kill us. Yeah, I was going to do it in chronological order instead of ass backwards. So yes, the the attack. What what happened? So, we got jumped, obviously you were there. After you got magically transported, that reminded me that we had those teleportation devices. Uh, we used that the eggs ourselves there. to escape to Stone's Throw. Nikita met up with us after uh, herself and one of the, the brothers were... Uh, Freed, or she freed them, or he freed her. I forget how it goes. Um, he freed they them. met back up. Um. They met back up. Uh, we all met back up. Um, we handed over the thing to the guy. We you, then you, the tried to. Yeah, yes. The thing. Right. Don't. Oh, sorry, sorry. You don't worry to the about guy. it. Yeah. We, uh, Gave a thing to the guy, um, so that's that's good. But um, mm -hmm. then we mm -hmm. had the people that apparently had um, briefly detained Nikita show up and try to uh, acquire said item from us. We and mostly Eldred kind of killed some people, but that's fine. Uh, it was good. It was a good job. He did excellent work for being a wizard against the large group of people. Um, Eldred goes, it was exhausting. I bet. Wait, you look exhausted. Are you talking about last <laughs> night? He's, he's quite exhausted. Stay focused. Stay focused. I'm talking about the night before Eldred. Not, <laughs> not oh, last night. Not last night. The night prior. But anyway. Um, different wizard? Different people. Same different Oh, activity. I was a different person a day ago, yes. Uh, 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 okay, what? focus. Focus, focus. Um, yeah, so they tried to steal it. They obviously couldn't. Um, they ended mm -hmm. up stealing some of our stuff. They fled. We gave a little bit of chase. But they got into the area that's quarantined, so we couldn't get past them. Came back. The quarantine. Rest. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. The quarantine because of the explosions you might have heard of. Remember? I believe so. Okay. Um, Carry on. There's Sorry. a town crier, right? Mm -hmm. Nah. You didn't hear a there town so crier, crier of Vivalda. You just heard the explosions shortly after you oh, okay. teleported. Time, Sorry. Time is weird. Time's weird in the campaign. Yes, it is. <laughs> Wibbly wobbly timey wimey. I, exactly. I, I don't... I didn't hear about any explosions, but I did hear what explosions. sounded like an explosion. Yeah, a series so of them we're not you heard. Yeah, so, so a series that of happened by, I think, by where the hanging was supposed to be taking place, where all the VIPs were. Oh. So, but we had already teleported away. We were at the Stone's Throw when that occurred. But back to, so, they tried to rob us. They were not really successful. They messed off. We finally get to rest. Reed gets a midnight visitor saying that we're all... If we don't give the thing to their guy instead at the Black Barnacle, uh, we're all going to die slowly, and Reed will be the last to die slower. I'm assuming this is a completely different set of uh, criminals. 
that we're uh, now in the process of dealing with because they asked for the item at the Black Barnacle later tonight. Yes. So yes. we're going to go there, uh, scout out the area in advance, and maybe uh, this is going to be like a group discussion. But I'm thinking we lay and wait and ambush the ambushers, ambush eat. Yeah, I like this idea, especially if Viv needs to rest. And that'll give sure. us some so, time in between people to catch up on their sleep. Read, yeah. uh, your fine Eldred looks like he could use an hour or eight. Reed could get Ten, to know 12. his dagger that makes him want to stab people. Reed can finally yeah. attune to the yeah, dagger because he, every free moment, he eats. Well, I see. Yeah. So I mean... we're going to a bar <laughs> to Correct. talk about handing over an item that we do not uh, have in our possession anymore? Correct. Right, okay. Like, it's a physical impossibility. They approached Reed about this, so Reed, guess what, you're our point man on this, but, um... Right. They didn't really approach me, they just kind of talked in my head. They might have also been in the room, we're not 100% sure about that. I see. I but either way, okay. they wanted Reed to bring the item there tonight, so we're kind of trying to use this as a reconnoiter or and or um, you know counter threat them maybe or if they i mean hell reed could tell them you don't have it anymore and i'm almost certain reed doesn't know who he gave it to anymore nope so all right i don't even know what you're talking about he, he will be honest as the day is long, and there will be no duplicity, which will be great. I love messing with people. But if they try to hurt him, then we um, we hurt them instead. Then we get to stab. Yes. yes. She and stab. the good news is, there's a large body of water that is great for disposing of bodies. I can confirm. I've done that before. Great. It's about this time, cool. Gaius that yeah. a couple of sailors are walking by and one says, yeah, it was the weirdest thing. These, like, eight-foot tall guys all oiled up and wearing next to nothing came out with these screaming dwarves and just threw them in the lake. It was, it was uh, impressive. I hear you, you pay extra for that. <laughs> And they just kind of look at you and go, <laughs> Adoni oh, Temple that's where the they came from. Yeah, it was wild, what? right? <laughs> Isn't that the place Kalandra said there's a buffet at? <gasps> the buffet yeah. was wonderful. Every time. Every fucking Oh, you got time. to go to the buffet? There was he so did. much food yeah. and drink. Yes. Every what? Time. And, and other things. Oh, I, it was a I buffet a for sexual items as well. Oh, yeah. So can but I know we, they also can, had a buffet can, of food. We're, we're not eating yeah. all of this, so we're gonna... I haven't eaten more. We're still walking to the Black Barnacle as this is happening. Okay, good. Cool. good. Thank God. I offer Don't you worry. some of my pocket, pockety breakfast, Vivaldo. Oh. No, he, he <laughs> took, he took mm. most of the puddings. <laughs> oh, you put... You put... Reed. Yeah, Reed. I, I can't really get pudding? that out of the... I can't get that out of the pouches, but I, have, I think I have some sausage in here somewhere. His no. pudding pocket. Yeah, you can no, dip the pudding. sausage I, into the pudding, I which sounds rude. Guys, guys takes out I'm a small, okay. small loaf of bread and hands it over to Viv. It's fresh bread. Here you go. Oh, oh thank you. Bread. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> are you feeling okay, butt trumpet? Do you need some more bread, or or are you hanging in there? Yeah, a little extra piece wouldn't wouldn't hurt. Some, Probably good some to pocket, some pocket blood pudding. Nope, <laughs> nope, none of that. Otherwise, we're gonna have we're gonna have a bazooka over here. As we start oh. walking, I'm like, does anybody have a spoon? <laughs> oh, you don't have a now pocket you spoon. Want a utensil? No. I figured I you would that... have a spoon. 
I should put that with my thieves tools. I should have like a fork and a spoon. I would oh, you know, be or if you they can get the spoon and the fork combined together. <laughs> we could call it a food. A food. Yes. Yes. High five. That was really quite well done. <laughs> that I am what impressed. sort of creature is a bazooka? <laughs> oh, is that a magic it's a, a creature that naturally casts acid splash out of its mouth, I believe. Yeah, kind of um, like a little dragon. <laughs> I see. An angry butt Doesn't trumpet sound very friendly. equals bazooka. Do we need well, to worry about yeah, these bazookas? Like a catchphrase, bazooka! Yes. <laughs> Only oh. if they get angry, Reed. Okay. I feel what like I just got three be different be definitions, but I will combine them all into something that makes sense for me. That sums me up pretty well. Are what you making think? a list of the monsters, Vivaldo? If you're writing them I'm down, I'm trying to keep track them. of, of okay. the new things I have seen. Yes. Well, and if you want monsters up in the overlook, or were you just like they're all douchebags? It's mostly <laughs> full of um, you know, high end douchebags, as, as you say. <laughs> yes. High end douchebags. <sighs> mm. Wow, Balenciaga douchebags, nice. The docks are bustling. A lot of sailors everywhere you look. You hear All that? Different... The docks are bussing. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> They're bussing, bussing. <laughs> <laughs> You're headed down looking for the black barnacle. And you you know you pass a ton of places and you're looking and it's just the 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 docks are filled with all sorts of ships. The docks themselves are filled with a lot of people. A number of the ships still seem to have a lot of people. People just seem to be hanging. They're just kind of they're sitting on barrels or sitting on the edge of the dock. They're they're in little groups talking. Uh, are, they all, uh, are they all wearing the scarves around here or no? No, down here, no. A lot of cranky looking people down here, though. But the fact that a lot of them look like very weathered from being out at sea for long periods of time probably doesn't help. If I see, uh, if I see anybody like eating anything with a spoon, I'm just going to ask them if they have another one. I would like to just keep my eyes out because there's lots of cranky people and I, we've been threatened, so I just want to make sure I'm not surprised. <laughs> okay. Uh, if anything looks suspicious. Oh, well, I'll tell you right now, a lot Everybody. of people look suspicious because, you know, your group yeah. walking around just draws a lot of looks. Um, Whatever for? <laughs> yeah. If anyone looks like they're, they're thinking of more than just thinking mean thoughts at us, if it looks like they're going to <laughs> move towards us or they're moving around us to flank us. It, it's a lot of people sitting around just kind of eyeing you daggers as you walk by or yeah, in groups that. that are they're kind of talking in low tones to avoid other people hearing them. And then see you and stop and just kind of watch your progress. Almost in your mind, you feel like they're probably going, yeah, that's it. Keep walking. Kind of attitude. Uh, Reed, <laughs> give me an investigation check. Don't want to fucking be here either, dude. Jeez. Right? Yeah, I'm not a fan of this town either. Yeah. I'm living my life over here. here. Yeah. Oof. I got a nine. You see people eating some different things. Nothing with a spoon, though. Mm. Oh. Yeah. As Viv walking, is walking. walking, she's just going to keep her chin up and, like, chest puffed out just to, like, look really tough as she's walking down the, the dock. Okay. <laughs> Every now and then you'll get a really kind of gnarly looking sailor who looks like he's seen some shit kind of look at you and go 
<laughs> okay. I, I, I did a little, like, nod at, at the people who give me respect back. <laughs> Welcome to the Salty Spittoon. How tough are you? <laughs> oh, my gosh. You got a brand new bottle of ketchup? <laughs> if I could just oh, run this under some hot water. <laughs> Uh, hey, weedy hut juniors. <laughs> <laughs> I do this whole thing. Anyway, let's continue. Okay, you go by a number of uh, places. The the rubby, rubber ducky, the uh, the red herring the you go by. My ears perk up the rubber ducky. No, the rubby ducker. The rubby ah! <laughs> You, you, you see the the poop deck, um, yep. <laughs> the aft hole. Uh, yep, that's my favorite. The, <laughs> the drowned pirate, and uh, you're headed down. And uh, I really just... want the rubber ducky to have the toughest and most brutal clientele with just fights where people are throwing chairs at each other. All well, day. as you go by the rubber ducky, uh, two guys get come flying through the door, and they're beating the hell out of each other. Uh, from airplane with the Girl Scouts. Both of them are, are wearing dwarfs? adventure like, hey, buddy Nikita, shirts. <laughs> adventure buddy shirts. Adventure buddies. <laughs> uh, that's right. That's the whole thing. Perfect. <laughs> You just hear briefly, no, Doopy Dwarf is the best. And they're like <laughs> big burly guys with earrings and cut their faces are covered in tattoos. And they've oh got these god. shirts with these big anime <laughs> eyes on, on the character. Can I, oh my god, can is this, this universe's version of bronies? <laughs> <laughs> can Calandra peek in to see if she sees any mountainous ladies for Nikita? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take mountainous men. For 100 hours. <laughs> okay, mountainous city it's body. It's just Pride really. Uh, give me, give me a Bill. perception check, please. Um, guys, do you have a spoon? Hmm? <laughs> yes. Can I have it? No. Oh. I don't know what you're using it for. 17. I told you not, specifically not to put it in your pockets. It, it's <laughs> kind of dark in the rubber ducky. Uh, you can look in as the door's been knocked, knocked off. Uh, there's lots of little multicolored fairy lights going on in there all over the place. So you pretty much only see silhouettes. But there are a lot of silhouettes of very mountainous individuals. You, that's about the most you can tell about them, though. Nikita, we'll uh, let's put a pin in this for, for both of us. Duh. Duh. The three of us. I am like it. <laughs> okay. What's that, okay. my trumpet? I want to come to you. Okay. I will go find the gorgeous mountain lady of my dreams. What are you doing? And I'll just be in a bar called the Rubber Ducky enjoying myself. So. Wait, why? That's the wrong bar. We got to go to the Blue Bunnocks. We, exactly. We're, we're saving we're just this for later. If one would person like asks me if here. I'm the spokesperson for this place. Bazooka. <laughs> 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 Sorry, well, we have a goal, right? <laughs> yes, I was still walking that way. But uh, yeah, no, you see, it, it. you've been down to the docks before. You've never seen it. And this, like what you see here on the map is just a faint idea of how actually crowded it is. It, it's like the Jersey Shore boardwalk at the end of July on a Saturday night. You know, it, it's just wall to wall, sweaty people, and gross. A lot of white beaters. <laughs> lots of gelled uh, hair. Not, lots of gelled of hair. A lot of unwashed oh. sailor types. Lots of okay, tattoos. Okay, everybody, watch their flame spells. We don't want to set people's hair on fire. <laughs> well, we might. <laughs> we you can know. do both. We have both. 
but yeah, it, it's it's packed down here, and you're seeing a lot of people, and they all look pretty mm -hmm. rough. Every now and then, there's some people who look a little more refined, who don't look like they've had as tough a life, but they seem to either be running errands, or they seem to be dressed in some sort of uniform or finery. And, um... I'd like to keep a close eye on my stuff, too, as I'm walking by. Okay. Just making sure that nobody runs into me and pickpockets me or anything. I have a zoom too far in, so every time I thought we were getting to the end of the screen, I had to zoom out, and it just kept getting bigger. <laughs> That's what's happening to me, too. So, right... Stop right there. Uh, Sorry. Going back. No, 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 no. You're fine. You're fine. Uh, right here, you notice the sign. And mm. what you're noticing is it's it looks like part of a ship's hull that has been broken out of a shipwreck. It's covered in dark barnacles and burnt into the wood, it says, the black barnacle. And as you look, the entire building from the outside looks to have been made from bits of shipwrecks. Wow, uh, that's cool. So parts of it, all, all the different parts look like different parts of ships that have been kind of cobbled together to create this, this large building. I look at Viv and I say, That'd be really easy to climb. Might get splinters out. <laughs> right, right. Just thinking. Uh, is this the place? Is this where we go in? I will take a look uh, around to see if anyone's... Oop, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, we should definitely... Exterior... Yeah. As well as interior, and then... Maybe if rent a room upstairs, if that's available or something, that way we have somewhere to work out of. Plus, if Viv needs to close their eyes for a few hours, also allow us to rest in rotation so we're ready for whatever happens. The door appears to be about right here. Is that an alleyway next to it? It's a very thin alleyway, yes. Anybody... Think we should check that out? Mm, duh. We were burned on the heist because these dumb fucks were a couple of alleys behind what we checked. I guess they weren't that dumb. Good idea. But yeah, we should probably do a run a run <laughs> once around. Mm, yes. Exactly what she said. Peeking. Just peering down the circumnavigating the, the building. Around. Okay, <laughs> yeah, the, the alley. The the alley is incredibly narrow. Uh, it's oh, incredibly wow. dark. Reed and Butt Trumpet could probably walk down straight. And Calandra. Um, I'm not so sure because Reed and Butt Trumpet are not quite as stout as a gnome. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can. I can do it. Um, I've got dark vision too, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll peek if Reed wants to cover me from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. I got you covered. Follow and cover me. Alrighty. Okie doke. It's not big enough for. Uh, oh, you know size. what? Viv could probably manage too. What? You might have. You might have to turn to the side periodically. <laughs> I've but not Calandra. What are we talking about? No, Calandra is a stout gnome. I don't Columbus think is a sturdy Midwestern gnome. gnome. She's very thick. Well, I'm saying that <laughs> the Volda could go You're Midwestern sideways. and you haven't done an accent okay. the whole time? <laughs> oh, I love it, don't you know? Nice and thick. Oh. There it is. I <laughs> <Bring a hot laughs> worship at the Temple of Hidoni. <laughs> don't you know? Oh, uh, we, well we got a hot, bunch of delicious pasties. <laughs> Retcon the character! <laughs> This has been happening the whole time. Anyway, important. All right, let's see. Let's try and get a, a good look down the alleyway. I think th I think there's a guy right here built <laughs> in the alleyway. Just outside the alley, leaning up against the uh, 
the building underneath the, the sign, there is a guy leaning there. What's he look like? Is he uh, a little rough. He's just kind of uh, in sea gear, big kerchief, bunch of lines on his face. They're not sure if it's from, you know, being at sea or scars, a combination of both. Is he just standing there kind of watching people, or is he doing something? He's, he's smoking a pipe. He's watching. Is there room to squeeze by him? Oh, yeah, if he's I not blocking excuse... the alleyway. He's leaning up if against I say, the... excuse me? <laughs> I'm pulling. Excuse me. Hey. Yeah, you, no, you don't... Uh, he's not in the way. Okay. okay. You can get to the alley without touching him. Okay. Or saying... How, how far does this go? It, it goes a fair way back. Can we just can see we down there, or do we gotta go? Actually, Nikita can I see will find a spot. About midway down, you do. There's there's a big something blocking your way up on the ground. You're not sure if it's rubbish or what. Gonna try a perception check. See if I can. Sure. Go. Sure. Yeah. Butt trumpet. Butt trumpet. Yeah. You should totally. You should poke that. Working on it. Okay. Fourteen. You have a stick? Do you need a stick? Where we are from, we don't need sticks. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know what that means, but okay. <laughs> it means no, I don't have a stick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It just seems to be like something on the ground, a pile of something. Hate that it's a pile, because that could that could mean dead stuff. Does it look like cloth, or does it look like like yeah, like we? Wood I do, pile? I do, in fact, poke it. I want to know what it is. You you poke it, and it goes. Do you mind? Yes, I. <laughs> Okay. I think I know that guy. That's all I need to know. I'd like to go back. We discovered okay. something. Could we see an end of the alley behind that or no? Uh, it goes on a little further. And you do see an end further up uh, that just looks like a pile of garbage. Like it opens up to what looks like a garbage heap. As we walk by the guy at the entrance to the alley. Uh huh. And, and we squeeze by him. I just kind of look at him when I say, do you know who this guy is sleeping down there? <laughs> he looks at you and goes, which one? Oh, was that? That might have been a pile of people. I'm not sure. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have to tell it's dark. Most of the inns are full, so you got you can't sleep on your ship. You know, it's every man for himself. Hmm. Huh. Or goblin, as it were. No offense. None taken, I guess. <laughs> what a polite pirate. <laughs> what a strange person. I tell the key to what we saw and everybody else. Yeah. Uh, there. yeah. Huh. Interesting. Should we still try to do a, a, a check around or... Do you think we're okay? Well, if there's another, uh, if there's another alley, like, around the other side or something, that'd be one thing, but, um, if there's no I other... Will... Sorry. Go ahead. If there's no other alcove or any, like, obvious-ish, obvious but not obvious hiding spot, then I think we're okay. I will wander a little further down the docks, just looking for the next alley or whenever this building whew, ends and hopefully there's a, a break or something. It goes down another building or two, and then there's a an alley that, uh, you know, two people could walk side by side down. But you do notice, like, between some of the buildings... There are some really tight alleys, like right. the one that Butt Trumpet and, and Reed just went down. Uh, I will come back and report that to everybody. What else are yeah, you looking for? Great... What, are, what else is everyone doing? 
Uh, Gaius. Yes. I could. Is it okay if I go into the, the, the tavern and get a spoon? You could do that. Um, hmm. I'll look around while I'm in there. Yeah, I'm just wondering. Oh no, this. Because I'm not expecting you till the night, so. But this still might be a good thing for him to go in and just see if anybody notices him or recognizes him. That's and I can true. get a spoon. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yes, you yes. have your priority. You can get a spoon. Oh, that reminds me, Nikita. Yeah. I gave all, I gave all my copper to uh, the, at the temple. I remember. Do you have a copper in case I got to buy a spoon? I give borrow? him a silver. Ooh. Don't spend it all Ooh. on one spoon. <laughs> it better Thank be a you. fucking fancy spoon. <laughs> Thank you. Bring me back my chain. Spoon I've ever seen. That's right. It better be a spoon of many Spence. uses and has like the option to also be a fork or something. The fork of horripilation? <laughs> Something like that. The spoon of scooping. If I go in there and they already have the foon created or a spork, I'm going to be very upset, but that's okay. What kind of a name is Spork? Yeah, I know. Who I'm pretty sure I have a distant cousin by that name. Okay, so Reed, are you going in? Uh, yes. Is there a guy right there at the door? Yeah. Like a bouncer looking dude? Uh, he's just kind of hanging out out front. He doesn't seem he doesn't even seem to pay attention to you. He seems like he's smoking something just kind of and smells funny. Yeah. It smells kind of weird. It doesn't smell like a normal cigar or anything like that. Um, okay. He looks a little his eyes are a little watery and he's just kind of kind of rocking back Swaying. and forth. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I just keep an eye on him as I go in. Okay. Make sure he's not going to suddenly sober up and reach for me or something. Okay. Uh, ooh, Give me a perception cage? check real quick. That's a nine. As I open the door, I see all these cage-looking things? Uh, no, the cage-looking things, once you go in, I'll explain. Well, I kind of quietly, it's just possible, and... I just don't, I might want to make a big stink, you know, I just kind of right. walk in. No, 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 I just need to get in there so possible. that you can see. So you go in, and the whole thing, it's a large, the bar, the place looks pretty big. It's surrounded by a balcony that is this raw iron grating that hangs over. There's a big chandelier that's wrought iron hanging down. The bar is actually an actual boat that is sitting in the middle of the room uh, with a couple bartenders. And everywhere you look, there's people just sitting there smoking pipes, they're smoking cigars, they're drinking, some are eating. A lot of, it's a pretty seedy place. It, the smell is pretty strong, too. There's a smell, strong smell of body odor. There is a strong smell of some weird stuff like what that guy was smoking out by the door there's the smell of tobacco there's all straight ahead there's a hallway that goes further down but up is that there's a really, is that a really big guy there <laughs> yes and you can't really it's a little dark there's a smaller person next to them who they bend down and they're obviously saying something and looking at you does it look like an ogre? Uh, it might be. Oh, okay. And what? And those? Uh, you said those iron things are walkways. It's a balcony, because okay. you can oh, see okay. from your angle if you look back, further mm. back there appears to be a series of rooms on the second floor there. But over top, uh, there's some light. The lighting is mostly from two large chandeliers hanging from from the ceiling. Okay. Okay. Well, I will uh, I'll walk up to the edge of the bar here. Okay. And if it's over my head, I reach up 
and uh, pull my hands, pull myself up with my hands so that I'm kind of got my head just above the bar. There's actually a bar down by the floor that you can stand on that'll just get you to kind of here. Okay. (laughs) And there are some stools. Uh, Most of them are taken. There's one that looks like it's left, but it also looks like it's left for a reason because it's kind of wobbly. Looks like somebody broke off like part of one of the legs at the bottom. I don't want to. I don't want to get a stool. I just kind of want to put okay. my head up above and try and get the bartender's attention. Okay. After a few the moments, they come down and are like, "What do you need?" I just need a spoon. Looks Can at I... you. Just a spoon. I... I'll. I could buy it. Sure, give me a silver. Uh, how about five copper? Come back when you want to pay for the spoon, if you want the spoon, or if you want to drink it. it walks away. Uh, from all right. No, wait, 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 wait. I, I put the silver up on the counter. <laughs> he takes it, pockets it, tosses a an old wooden spoon towards you that looks like it's been used before. It's been wiped down and stuff, but it, it it's an old spoon. Okay. I grab it and uh, I just take a good look around. Do I see anybody I recognize? I know you said it's a little dark in here, but. Uh, give me an investigation check with disadvantage, please. Uh, nine. Nah. Yeah. Okay. A lot of people in here, but it's between the haze of smoke that's hanging in the air. Uh, you're just under the big cloud of haze, pretty much, of this smoke. You know, it, it's it's dark in here. It, there's there's the chandelier doesn't give off the best amount of light. Um, there's a couple candles on a couple tables here and there, but not enough for you to really recognize anybody. You just see that there's a lot of people in here, okay. and none of them look happy. I will start walking for the door, and okay. I look back at the big guy. Okay. They still look like they're paying attention to me. They look like they're talking to each other. With that, you don't. With that role, you can't tell if they're looking at you or not. Okay. Okay. I just walk up to the door and uh, head on out. I see if I see my friends down the dock. They're right Please. out there waiting for you. <laughs> not nothing like being so obvious. <laughs> Reed had gone in for a little bit. Eventually comes out looking kind of perplexed and walks back to you. What happened? So, there's these weird, like, metal balconies around there. I think there's, like, a second floor, I guess, with rooms or something. So you might be able to get a room. Okay. And there's there's this really big giant-looking guy in there. And I think he was looking at me when I first went in there. And I got spoon, but it they took the whole silver. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. I'll get it's, you more. It is all right. We will uh, we will get it back one way or another. It's not a great spoon either, but but I'll make sure it lasts. That's all that matters, Reed. How would, how would you make the spoon not last? I won't lose it. You know, sometimes I misplace oh. things. I make sure I won't lose places. Do you have one of uh, Do you have one of Gaius's little? No, you don't, because he when he does find on you, he looks on your your head thing, da. Oh yeah, yeah. Is there a hole in the end of the spoon? Maybe you can make a necklace out of it. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Because the alternative is taping it to your chest. Da, this depends on your First chest. First, we gotta invent tape. <laughs> We could use some. <laughs> never, never mind. Stopping now. Sorry. Eldred goes a spike. Yes, I mean we could. Which physically floor drive was that a... on, Eldred? Oh, that was the fourth. Yeah. Uh, oh, just so you know, too. You... Oh, oh, just just so you all know, I walked out mm. of the uh, the bar, and you're all very visible. Just saying, we kind of stand oh. out. Hanging out here. Don't know we can do much about that. 
Unfortunately. Gaius nonchalantly leans up against something. <laughs> yes. That's better? <laughs> Much better, yes. <laughs> Pulls a toothpick out of somewhere. Exactly. <laughs> I just don't think if we're not, if you're not all going in, maybe we should move along the docks. Or something. You mentioned they might have rooms on the second floor. We should probably ask, da? Yeah, we could probably do that. All right, who wants to go in or read? I'm trying to, uh, we should, fucking everybody or just? Uh, in, oh. Do it in like uh, pairs or something. As guys just leave. Hey, your buddy. Pull, pulls out like a deck of cards and just kind of like flick him around in his hands. Found this time talking. a group of about look six, at... six sailors push past you and keep walking down the dock. Kind of just. Ooh. Kind of Do they touch through anybody? You. Yeah, they bunch, just kind of bunch through you and don't say a word and just keep going. Do we oh, have uh, anything? I, I check my things. Yeah, I would like to check my yeah, things as yeah. well. Checking my person. Okay. Uh, good thing Gaius was casually leaning against the wall the entire time and was not uh, obstructing. <laughs> I'm keeping an eye on them as they go in case we need to Seven. chase them down. Gaius, roll me a a 20 sider with advantage please as he flips a coin in his own hand like tossing it up yeah. and down with real cash advantage. 15 or, okay yeah 15 uh nikita just 20 cider yep yep oh. Meanwhile, the dock ruffians are coming down the dock. The, din, the, din, the, din, the, din, the din. dock ruffians. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that is a great name. <laughs> okay. Uh, Reed. Dock ruffian. What am I rolling? 20 cider. You can roll it with advantage. With advantage? Looking better after that oh. roll. Yeah. Halfway oh. luck. Yeah. Eh, six. <laughs> okay. Woof. Well, six and a lot higher was better. <laughs> and butt trumpet. Yep. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, Reed, what do you have on your belt and in your initial pockets? Oh, please tell me he stole a pouch of pudding. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. 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 Oh, they bump into you. As they bump into you, they lift up their hand and shake it, going, "Ugh." <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. You said pouch, pouches, and what? Pouches and and pockets around your midsection. Um. Pudding so. <laughs> well, there are two pouches of pudding. Um, I got a water skin. Um, I really hope they robbed the pudding pouches. That would be so funny. A lot of that's over the left. <laughs> uh, my new dagger is tucked into my belt. Okay. Yeah. Um, and you attuned to that, correct? If I was able to. Yes. Okay. You I, said you did this morning, so I assume that you did. Oh, yeah. okay. I missed that. Sorry. Yes. I have, so I have a dagger in my boot, a dagger on my belt, then... The debt collector dagger is tucked into my belt because I don't have a sheath for it. And the, uh, my short sword is on the other side. And then okay. I got pouches with my thieves tools. My water skin is somewhere there. A tinder box. And two pouches of pudding. And I just got a spoon. I'm going to be really upset. Okay. <laughs> oh, no! Well, the spoon's <laughs> in your hand, hand, I assume. Yes, the spoon's I, in my hand. <laughs> the spoon... They just take the spoon right out of there and be like, eh, thank you. The tinder box oh, is gone. <laughs> the uh, new dagger, not the deck collector, but the other new dagger is gone. What? And one pouch of pudding is gone. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Vivalda, you you feel someone something kind of brushing by your waist, and but you're able to kind of turn to make sure that it's not invasive in any way. Um, yeah, because I was keeping a lookout ahead of time, too. So, you feel like either someone was getting handsy or they were looking to pickpocket you. You're not 100% sure, but you were able to evade it. 
okay. with okay. what you were doing. Uh, Calandra, you saw right away what was happening and just smacked the person's hand away. <laughs> Say, uh, wrong bitch, wrong day. <laughs> 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 but trumpet they they rolled so poorly they actually you felt a finger go in your ear is what you yeah. felt Ugh. oh my god <laughs> did they find her pudding pouch <laughs> wait she's got one too there. I <laughs> had no pudding pouches <laughs> No, but their fingers are waxy. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> and, uh, you don't, uh, nothing's taken, but you do hear a, ugh, <laughs> as, as the people pass by. Gaius is safe. Eldred's like... Oh, fucking keep your hands to yourself, assholes. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear Eldred mutter, any other day I would probably be upset. <laughs> oh, well. Um... I... Do I do I still have sight of them walking down? Yeah, the they're they're kind of about two buildings further down past the inn. Guys, they took my pudding. <laughs> they they oh, took something no. else. They tried uh, to take something from me, but they failed. They invaded. I, they didn't me. try to take shit from me. I don't. <laughs> what? What did they do, but trumpet? They. Duck a finger in my ear. I think they tried to give me a wet willy. It didn't work. I just feel Ugh. very uncomfortable. Is it still in there? Yeah. Let's, uh... No, hey, it let's is not in there. Do you want to go get them? Oh. They take Do you want me to go after them, butt trumpet? Or should I just we can yell go about after them, them being ear-fondling uh, perverts? I... <laughs> no, no, they'll, they'll get theirs. I'm pretty sure by stealing sure? Reed's pudding and shoving a finger in your ear, they got there. Is that? Yeah. Well, okay. Okay. Yeah. Is anybody it's missing anything my... important, or do we? Can we fucking blow it off? Like, and pudding my dad me. They tried. Oh. Was it? Okay. It's not the really nice dagger, right? Or was it? Oh, it's not this one. And I pull it up. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I want it back. <laughs> Yeah, let's go inside the floor. Do you want it back? Yeah, yeah. Let's go inside the floor. No, no. I got, I got a bunch of daggers. Yeah, I was gonna Besides, not drink, but after that, I kind of like to. Just a little. Ah, uh, the old hair of the dog. Just a little. Careful. Besides, if we go in the if we go in the bar, I could probably steal a bunch of stuff to get stuff back, if you want. Yeah. We shall see how it goes. It sounds like it's a bit rough and tumble. I don't know that we want to piss off. I mean, they don't seem to be very good at what they're doing anyway, so who knows? They might not be that big of a threat. Yeah. I'm continuing to keep a lookout around all of us now, not just myself. Okay. Me too. Guys, it's like, yeah, whatever that's like. (laughs) Yeah. I will follow Gaius in out of the corner of my eye, staring at people. I'm still tempted to yell, call them ear fondling perverts. <laughs> Do it. Do it. <laughs> she co- as Nikita perverts. walks in the door, she leans back out and calls out, Keep your fingers out of our ears, perverts! <laughs> <laughs> Give me a perception check there, Nikita. <laughs> can I help? Can I can I help? Sure, take it with advantage. No, I might actually see something. Or not. Uh, Nikita's the last is. one in in uh you hear a couple like ew. Uh Exactly. <laughs> and, and you hear one like hmm. Yeah. Um <laughs> Elder, we found your people. That's seventh floor. <laughs> Them over there. This is such a tall building that we were in. <laughs> it was deceptively tall. Yes. There's so many floors. So much bigger yeah. on the inside. Exactly. <laughs> Did the guy near the door go somewhere, Paul? Uh, yeah. Leave? Yeah. I didn't see where he went. Nope. Did anyone get a good look at them? 
Reed. What did he look like? Do you remember? Uh, he was a human. That was very helpful. Uh huh. Yeah. And he was kind of swaying, like a man. I think he heard music in his head. He was kind of swaying, like. <laughs> well, hopefully, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We all go in. <laughs> he wasn't inside though, so I didn't pay that much attention to. Him. No, I I understand, but let's hopefully we will. Uh, if we see somebody swaying later, we can keep an eye on them. I will walk in, shadowing Gaius. Okay, you're the can last one in, Nikita? Nikita. Just so you oh. know, nice. going right back. Okay, <laughs> you're the very last one in. You didn't hear Eldred. Eldred's not himself today. He had a big thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go any further with that. <laughs> he grew he's hardly made any sarcastic comments. <laughs> you notice he's just been smiling the whole time that you've been walking. And just kind of like, it's like he's thinking to himself as he's walking. Hey, there's this little perk in his step, and he seems to just... At least somebody else enjoyed the buffet. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you enjoyed it thoroughly. I think we all technically did, just different sections of the buffet. Different floors. They had an yeah. excellent selection of books. Mm -hmm. You're, uh, you're muted, muted, Viv. Yeah. I apologize. Um, so Eldred partook in the buffet. Yep. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I see. Yeah, I see. Yes. He All wasn't right. eating when we were eating, though. He went somewhere else. Yeah. I bet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now you're getting it. Duh. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then they tried to steal his pants, but. Right. That's exactly what they gave them back. Uh huh. But they gave him his pants, and uh, now uh, here we are. <laughs> Eldred says, I have my pants. I. He goes, I can't help it. We walked in. We were at the bar. As Calandra mm. was leaving, she told the bartender to let us have whatever we wanted and that we were welcome to mm. whatever we wanted. So, Boy, this is so a big place. It? He ordered off to me. Very big. <laughs> How about Dude. the rooms, Gaius? Anything? <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, yeah. What, another topic, yeah. please. <laughs> so what, what you see when you go in here is it's very dark. Uh, yeah. There's a couple candles on the occasional table. There are two dimly lit shan big giant chandeliers hanging from the ceiling. Uh, it goes up two floors. There's two separate balconies going around the bar. There are these wrought iron grates. Occasionally you hear the sound of like walking on these iron grates as you see people walking around. The bar is the main focus of this room, though. Oh. It's an actual boat that's been turned into a bar in the middle of the room. And you've got oh. two bartenders serving drinks from there. There's a bunch of tables, people playing uh, some games, a lot of cigars and pipes being smoked. There's a layer of haze that just fills the room with the smell of tobacco, sweat, and this strange smell that it's fruity with a kind of acridness to it that's unlike yeah. anything you've ever smelled before. Ooh, that smell. I was going to say, even, even working where I work, I don't recognize it. That's pretty Even wild. working where you work, <laughs> you do not recognize this smell. Damn. Oh, y'all. Yeah. I point out to Nikita and uh, Butt Trumpet that um, a few paces ahead of Vivalda, towards that hallway in the back, there was this giant ogre kind of guy there. I think that's who was mm. looking at me when I came in. But he's not. He's gone now. I don't see him. Hmm. All right. We need to be very aware. Good thing we all partook of whatever last night because we need to be on our fucking guard from like now on. <laughs> we are going to get jumped badly. <laughs> so I'm what sure do you do now that you're in here? Because 
this group of people just walked in who do not look like sailors. Gradually, attention is being drawn to you. Uh, you can't get a good look at a lot of people, but you... The murmuring has kind of quieted down significantly. <laughs> I put on my intimidation face with the tusks and everything. <laughs> okay. Dice walks up to the bar. Drinks. Duh. Okay, a bartender eventually comes down to you and says, What do you want? Drinks. How many? Guys, looks behind him. Uh, that many. Okay. I uh, wave to the bartender. Beer? And then I lean a <laughs> Rum? That sounds good. Uh, you know, beer sounds a good start. And then, mm. um... I'm curious. What's uh, any rooms available around here? <laughs> he I know. Says, silly question to ask. Yeah. Everyone's been docked for uh, about a week. Every place is booked on the docks. Solid. Yeah, it's uh, going to be eight around. gold pieces for your beers. They'll be up in a second. All right. Guy slides in the cash. Is there any, like, uh,. Tables available that I'm seeing around there. Is there in the back corner? Is, is that a person or is that late? Uh, there's one right to the left of Calandra that's available. Okay. What did he just charge up for beers? Hey, gold. <laughs> did I hear that right? Yeah. yeah. And when he brings the beer back, Paul, I will, mm -hmm. I'll have a conversation with him. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> he and his buddy bring in. He brings uh, four mugs in each hand, puts them down. That should pay for my beers for, what, the next three hours, right? A gold of If you're a slow drinker with that mug, yeah. How much are you charging the rest of your customers? Same thing. Really? Yeah, supply chain is tough ask? right now. And really? with this many people, everything's at a premium. You got a problem, there are other bars. Turn and look at one of the other customers. You, how much did you pay for your beer? Guy looks at you and goes, give me an intimidation or persuasion check. Your choice there, Gaius. If it's intimidation, I can help. It's, it'll be persuasion. I'm <laughs> more persuasive than intimidation. No, it won't. Nope, doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know sad. that was a noise. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, is like, how much did you pay for your beer? <laughs> Excuse me. Exactly. That was, that was the answer. <laughs> that, that was your answer. <laughs> cool. You hear from behind you, you hear Nikita go, oh, it's a dwarven bar. <laughs> yeah, so guys just goes over to the table. Yeah, they won't be getting any more of my money. You? No, we will sip this very slowly. It works anyway because we're going to be staying alert and shit. And I'm going to come off as much of a guard dog as goblity possible. Okay, <laughs> uh, guys, give me a uh... We'll say it. We'll say a perception check because this is like right up your alley with advantage. Uh, nineteen. Okay, you're noticing this is a very thin beer. Mm. Motherfucker. Well, what in, are so, the options? I lean into well, everybody at the, the table. Of the ground. And they overcharge me for the spoon, too. <laughs> okay, so what are you doing? What are our options? We can sit and drink this urine slowly? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> or we can okay. trade sheet feed. It's okay. <laughs> she didn't mean it literally. I hope. <laughs> I'm making fun of the beer. Read. Maybe if oh. we go like a... a <laughs> Kalandra lane. goes... Second floor. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, so you're just going to sit there for a while then? 
I honestly think we should look for another place, uh, maybe a, a lane or two okay. back from the docks. Also, just to clarify, room. there's one, it's number one on floor two. <laughs> <laughs> Percy. Fair enough. <laughs> Okay, so, so yeah, you know what? the party's doing, Viv is probably kind of standing almost like as a guard, like watching mm. the rest of the tavern. Okay, Viv, give me a perception check, please, and take okay. advantage because you said that's what you're focusing on. Ooh, Ooh. Nat 20. Okay. 24. Viv, it's dark in here. It's incredibly hazy. The the smoke is is very hazy and that fruity smelling stuff that's rather acrid mm -hmm. there's nothing natural about that as a denizen of the wood and nature there is absolutely yeah. whatever it is it's not natural and it's giving you a headache one of the things looking around as you're keeping an eye out you can't see specifics because it's so hazy and gloomy in here but you feel a lot of eyes on you. Uh, you feel mm -hmm. a lot of eyes on you on this floor. And you also feel them on you from the two balconies overhead. And when you kind of look up, every now and then you'll catch someone take a step back. If you look in their direction. Okay. So there are eyes on you. And it's not like one or two people. They're... It's the sort of thing where you feel like some people are specifically looking at you. Some people are curious. You know, who are these weird people that just don't fit in with this crowd that just came in here? You also get the feeling that some people might be clocking you. Like, are these easy marks? But you do get the feeling that there's probably some that are just almost a feeling of recognition and the feeling that comes with the, the feeling of being watched on top of all these other things. So there's a lot going on in this bar, which is normal because there's a lot of people in this bar. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's that which is not quite so normal. Fair enough? Okay. Okay. Do I see anybody like going towards their like weapons? Like you mentioned they're clocking me, but is anybody making a move? No, everyone's, the only moves that people are making is maybe leaning back so that a, a pole is between you and them, or, okay. you know, moving so that they're a little bit more directly behind the candle, still in the darkness, so that you can't kind of get a focus on them. Okay. Maybe standing up and leaning against a wall so that their face is more obscured by the haze. That's about it. Mm -hmm. But like I said, the upper two balconies, maybe a step yeah. back a little bit or behind a pole. Watching me, but avoiding my gaze. Uh, your entire group. But if you okay. look up and like look around, like the yeah. smoke, the haze, this place is just filled with it. But you'll as you look up, you'll see like slowly a couple people take a step back. Is the smoke coming from people smoking tobacco and stuff within the room? or Some of it's uh, tobacco. Some of it, you get the feeling that that fruity, weird fruity smell fruity. might be coming from something that's being smoked as well. What do we got? I lean, I lean towards <laughs> Nikita a bit. And I'm just going to lean down and say, a lot of people are watching us right now and... If anybody decides to make a move, I'm a, I'm a little nervous that we're outnumbered here. I would like to clarify, we're waiting for someone to ambush us in this uh, place. Well, it was all Elder we know. Elder goes when you put it that way. Um... Reed just said that we were... We were, he was told to bring something here tonight. Personally, I agree with you. This doesn't feel right. Uh, I think no. we should go up to these cheap bastard who, who watered down 
our liquor. This is a crime, by the way, for dwarves. You do not fucking water alcohol. Mm -hmm. I just want you to know this. Um, All right. Mental note. But uh, I think... Okay. I think... I'm just going to go up to the... I would like to, and I'm curious about everyone's opinion before I get destroyed. I want to go up to the bar and tell them, you know who we are. Tell whoever's looking for us to fucking come up to the necropolis if they want to have a talk. Because I don't yeah, think we should... Yeah, I'm, I'm... I don't think we should... <laughs> I don't think in a location where people could follow us that may be the best... But what is that location? There, there's a threat involved with the location, and there's also a sure, come on into the town where all the dead people walk around, assholes. Sure, 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 if sure. If it's really that Fair. important to them, I... right? Sorry? If it's really that important to them. What were they, right. were they threatening Reed with something? Reed, Reed, what were they threatening you with? Mm-hmm. Why did we decide to come here? Oh, well, I was the least threatened. They were going to kill all of my friends first, slowly, and make me watch. And then I was the last one. Did they tell you to come here alone? Uh, no. It just sounded like we just got to bring the item here. They didn't really say it. Because I'm wondering if they're just going to do that anyway. There's a lot of them here. And now you are here empty You think it's all these people? It could possibly be. It also could be that they might know the people who are threatening you and that they see them start to pick a fight with us. All of these people are going to jump into the fray. Not on our side. There is no one here on our side. I really don't think staying here is wise. Guys, you've been quiet. Any opinions? Guys? Guys? Oh. (laughs) I'm kind of pissed at that. I'm keeping this very hushed, by the way, Paul, and Hmm? still looking around. Vivalda, pretty much it's still the same thing as you keep watching. Okay. I agree. We need we need to go. It's time to GT. We came, we got a look of the we got a look of the area. See the mm-hmm. type of people we're dealing with potentially. At least the places they like to use. If I don't believe getting into a fight here would be a good idea, because like you said, this is not a place for our time and choosing. We need to. Like, if I may recommend I something. Of... Go ahead. I would say, were you staying at the Stone's Throw when you received that message, Reed? Mm-hmm. Then they likely know where we're staying already. If we go back there, we could sleep in shifts, keep watch of each other, make sure that nobody is taken in the night or anything like that. And if they decide um, to attack us there, we know uh, the ground. Viv, Viv, I think, yes, I, think Butter, ground. I think, I think Butterbeer's upset that we keep fighting in his inn. Oh, right. There was like a burning body <laughs> hanging in the third floor last time, and he was really upset about it. I see. So perhaps we should get a new inn. Eldred says, <laughs> you know, like you do. Nice. I think we're fine. We cleaned it all up. See, Bobby, the that's just my of. suggestion. We go somewhere else, stay the night there, sleep in shifts, keep watch. That way, we can notify someone if somebody is attacked in the night. I don't dislike this idea. I also agree. I think doing it, continuing to do it in the stone's throw might be a bad idea. I'm can we stay at we the... Um, what is it called? The, the the place with the buffet. If we stay there but don't in, partake in the buffet, we can we can avoid. It's going to get real buffet. expensive real quick. Oh, it's really expensive. Uh, we can pay for the room. Hopefully, they have a room because they or something. We can donate to Calandra because I think they seem to have a pretty sufficient security for us. If anyone comes looking for us, well, they're going to. The I think thing. they'd be more uncomfortable than than like you know upset well we can go hide somewhere like i'm assuming there is a if they love excess so much where is the excess of nothing i just want to sit in a quiet (laughs) fucking room with an excess of nothing oh that's the fourth Um, floor yeah (laughs) Uh, i know that you do have a room in in the basement 
That is totally uh, sensory deprivation. <laughs> we, we do have a sensory deprivation area. Very lovely. You can go. It's just completely Wonderful. silent. Lovely. No noise, no distraction, no, uh, it's... And, and could we... Co hold on a second. That. Calandra, you also know from having been there, problems are really, really frowned upon. And they don't like them. And yes, they have a good security force. But if people kind of bring problems in, that is heavily frowned upon. No. Because the whole purpose of Hadoni is about positive pleasure, not right. that. It is safe there. It is safe. We would be safe. Uh, security is mm -hmm. amazing and not too bad to look at. I'm just concerned about how these people, you know, if they weren't, and this was my concern in the first place, if they aren't, if they weren't in the room, if they are communicating with Reed in his mind, are they able to locate him? Because if it if it creates problems, if they show up to the temple, uh, and we just that had a fault. Da, and hey, Viv, funny fucking story. Remember those dwarves <gasps> from from when we were uh, in the alleys running? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they remembered and they went to the temple and they asked for Foxy Codone and then they didn't pay. So they're already vaguely pissed off at Calandra. We might need to find just, is there like an inn where, okay, so I don't know that much about the feely good gods. So Hidoni is positive, feely good. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if Bacchus has a flavor Positive it's, versus. I think it's great. Right. It's great. Yep. Great. Great. <laughs> great, great flavor. What? Great. 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 Of course. Uh, of course. Uh, Should we? Great flavored god. Purple. If that's we, if, if that's a flavor in this world. <laughs> but maybe there is a could... like a, a fighting god of of goodness where we can just go hey. and like if they want to fight. They can have a fucking fight? I don't know. Oh, Viking god of goodness. I think, I think we could at least head back to the temple now so that we're not talking about all of this here. Agreed. Yes. Let's start that we way. We should be. And start Gaius, walking. I had the thought. You said mm. all of your, your fellow uh, grape-loving Bacchanalians are gone from their temple in the religious section, right? Section. Yes. No. Section. <laughs> Sectors, yeah. I think could we maybe hole up there, and then if they try to attack, it's just us in an empty well, building. I know some B guys are supposed to move in at some point. I don't. How long has it been since I found that information out? It's been a couple. Yeah, that, that was like a over a month ago, right, Paul? When I was up in the this at least in, three weeks. Okay. Yeah, that was way before yeah, Forest Grove. Def definitely a month a month before, ago, yeah. I was going to say, it was before Forest Grove, so it's... Yeah. Like, trying to remember. Uh, I mean, we could check it out. Uh, I know it was derelict, but it might not be. But there's also guards in the religious section. Or yes. uh, guards is a strong word. Um, monitor. Well, here's... Once again... Are we we're, able to go? We leave the building. Yeah, let's. We yeah, yeah, yeah. We're walking, we're walking, and walking, talking. and talking, <laughs> and keeping our voices low. <laughs> also, no, as uh, when we leave the building, a uh, quick huddle. Keep on the lookout. They might be following us now, so this might be da. an opportunity to counter ambush them. Yeah, I. The first step trumpet. in defeating a trap is knowing there is one. Yeah. I will put butt trumpet on my shoulders to kind of keep a, a eye on the sky view around. Reed, if you can keep an eye around as well. You're, you're good sure. at looking for sneaky at, people. At waist height. <laughs> well, Reed will be the nose to the ground. 
By the way, so, yeah, I'm glad to see that you're okay and you didn't teleport to some horrible place in in which you perished or anything like that. I'm oh. glad you are all right. Calandra needs to tell Vivaldo where she went while we walk back. <laughs> <laughs> when I got tell, long story short, I ended up with freaky McFreaky pants. The <laughs> not me. That's a different giant. Person. Right, different. Giant, 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 made up of bodies, but not in a fun way. Like, there was this thing. Remember the bodies. nest, the A-bombs, the abominations we saw that were hulking around and they looked like multiple bodies stuck together in the Eastern Districts? Mm. Right, right. Calandra saw the parent of all body globules. And it was huge. That sounds Just like terrific. we saw the big King Chungus of bunnies. King Chungus. Bah. We saw <gasps> the King A-bomb Chungus and the King Bunny Chungus. Okay. Uh, A-bomb Chungus, side, Bunny Chungus. And then, side and note, then there was a... Han Hannibal might be eating something at the inn, just so you know. Ooh. Never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> Wait, which inn? Uh, the stone's stone throw? I didn't really we'll leave much food. Yeah. We'll pick him up and we will set him as a fucking guard bunny at the front door of <laughs> Gaius's temple. <Okay. laughs> we really ought to get like a gargoyle of Hannibal at some point. Da, da. Like also, it. just a quick reminder: temple might not be uh, empty anymore. Just through. Put that out there. But we'll be away yeah. from Stone's Throw. Hopefully, we can find something, or it'll be further away from the docks. We can find a room that we won't get fucking charged ridiculous amounts for and hopefully there's still some guard presence if someone comes looking for trouble oh, huh? i'm almost certain there's a building where people have been stolen out of in the middle of the night that is derelict and empty that we could probably just use guys give in me a perception district, check right uh, oh, in the eastern perception. district uh no on our side there we Ooh, go wow. No, okay. I don't see shit. No problem. I actually prefer the fart noise. <laughs> while, uh, while we are walking towards the temple, Viv is going to have out one of her daggers and is just going to be kind of like cleaning it on her fabric just to like... Okay, is that <laughs> where like you're headed to the temple of Hadoni? That's, I think, so. I think, where we're just walking roughly right now. Okay. And then... Is that try to isn't that away. slightly back the way before we go back up or Yeah, any of the uh like Vivalda actually came the way that you came down to the docks. In other words, oh. the the next thing over the uh We don't want to do that because dwarves. No 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 the nah. dwarves came the one before. No. Nah. That, That's where that the which is chopped into the water? Yeah, that that was the uh, that was the alley that came down that you turned down to go. You came down that alley and turned down a block earlier to go down the alley of Red Lanterns. Had you continued, right. you would have come out where the dwarves had been thrown in the lake. But you made the left turn out of the temple, went down to the alley that came out at the two the two ends, the Holy Ship and the Harry Lemon. Harry Lemon, that's what I forgot. Um, how about we aim for, since they know we're, we've been staying at the uh, Stone's Throw anyway, we aim for that. We pick up the um, bunny chungus of doom that is not Hannibal. And then we head for the religious section, riding okay. our bunny chungus. <laughs> then right. We should also while we're walking, be on the lookout for uh, just random abandoned buildings. True. That that would show... I don't know the one you are talking about, I apologize. But that, if you Oh, no. Uh, it's... I've noticed activity at night. Uh, people being quarantined. Oh! It's a thing we gotta look into, but we keep having other things added on. There's so right. much going on in the city. Guys, yeah. you you know that if you wanted to go to Temple Way, yeah, 
probably the quickest way would to be to backtrack the way you just came on the dock, go through mm -hmm. the really nasty section of the docks to the end there, bang a right, go through the warehouse district, past the, the thoroughfare that'll take you to the gates. And because it's in the in the western section of the city, north mm. of the gates is where Temple Way is. Yeah. But if we want to stop at the Stones Throw, right, and then go there, is that still fine. the most efficient? It's still it's the most not efficient the most way. efficient way. No. It... Remember when we were looking for kids? To save? <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, and we found that some. Alley over from the Red Lantern Alley has their school district coming out right now. So it, that is all just backed of up. Of course, the there's hills. a school district right there. It's a school zone, so it's 15 miles an hour. No one can go super fast. We should avoid that one as well. What? what? I got <laughs> so many places to avoid. I was trying to come home from getting my hair done and I drove through every goddamn school section on the planet in, in on Friday. And it was like, everybody's doing 15 mile an hour. <laughs> How'd that make you feel? Well, the stream certainly has taken a turn. <laughs> um, That's all traveling anecdotes. Yeah. Would sure hate to make it weird by talking about school zones. Let's go back to the alley of red lanterns. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Okay, so Gaius, we'll yeah. say you are here, okay? Uh, okay. Stone's throw is here. Okay. Okay. Temple Way is probably like this direction okay. but, still. but further north but so we stone's we throw go. and temple way like stone's throw is much farther north than temple way gotcha so i lay that out to everybody i'm like all right okay. so you still want to go get the bunny oh we can Probably just send one to... person to get the bunny or what if We're what if we could just a send... very terrible area and we have people that are threatening to kidnap and kill us slowly. I don't want to send anyone out by themselves. No, Why not? Through. can you can you use a messagey thing, uh, magic thing on on Butterbeer and have him take care of Hannibal? Holy yeah. shit! A bunny sitter. Uh, yes, a chunkus uh, bunny sitter. Yeah, oh. I'll do that. I'm sure, sure why not? Love that. Hey, you know what? Uh, can I borrow the great. brooch so I don't? Eldred so says, uh, sure. Gaius, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, he yeah. kind of walks off to the side with you and says, okay, so Butterbeer already isn't a real big fan of mine right now. A little thing about saying something about me threatening to burn down his inn. You know, just... You know, he, he's exaggerating sort of thing. But uh -huh. I just feel like it it might not be the best thing. Have you seen inside Reed's room what that bunny has done to it? And just Reed's living space and how he lives? You are, yeah. Okay, okay he walked a little bit away. Can us? any of us hear? <laughs> Uh, give me a perception check there, Nikita. We'll say. I'll help. I'm down. Yes. I'm like someone back me up. <laughs> I will also be listening. Nice. Go ahead, roll the buildings. I'm keeping an eye out for bad guys. Okay. Nice. <laughs> oh, I'm here. Vivalda. Oh, would you like me to roll as well? Yes, please. 21. Okay. Sweet. You, you hear this, most of this in very hushed tones, uh, but what you don't get verbally, you can easily tell by the look on Eldred's face and the reactions of Gaius. Not by Gaius's face so much, but as the eyes, they occasionally widen a little bit or the little shake of the head. 
Or is it just heavy sigh? You definitely get the feeling of this conversation. It sounds like perhaps Breed we don't need money? Or what if we let the bunny loose? What would happen? Um, yep. Well, we'd still have to go back to the inn to let him out of the room. Right. Well. But I mean, I guess he'd be okay. We might not see him again. <laughs> you know. What if, and just hear me out, I know I've been weird today. It was really good Dwarven Ale last night. What if Gaius sends a message just to let Hannibal, to, to Butterbeer, to let Hannibal out and to tell Hannibal where we're going to be? And then Hannibal can go become Godzilla in Tokyo or he can come find us. This must be Dwarven. Does Hannibal understand common? We're pretty sure he does. Mm. <laughs> he seems pretty smart. He doesn't I speak it, but... Since mm -hmm. Butterbeer doesn't like me, should I send the message? Because he already doesn't like it. That way it won't it's, make it it's, any worse. No, it's less that it's coming from me, which are we know, never I seeing, he dislikes me. Are we never seeing Morgan's, Butterbeer again? We're never going to use Stone's Throw again? Oh, no. Well, I think we'd okay. like to. That's part of the problem, maybe. Oh, right. I was going to we're say... We're getting real we're close to again, not being allowed back. We could say it was. We could pretend that Reed died heroically in battle, and we could be like, um, "Reed's dying wish was to let Hannibal be free, and and tell Butterbeer to let him out that way." Eldred just kind of walks when over we... and kind of moves <laughs> Nikita and Vivalda to one side, just kind of like going. He goes. Ooh. I we get Eldred whispers. I don't think it's a good idea to let Butterbeer in Eldred in uh, Reed's room. I, I I just don't at all. And next yeah. time Reed his, goes back, if you tell him he's dead, his... and me and Reed have to go in like stacked in a trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> if... Is it not something that innkeepers have to deal with? Is the upkeep of the guests in? Yes, in? but oh, but. He's been cutting us breaks. He's been making things real nice. Have you been in Reed's room? I have not, as, okay. as far as I remember. Do you remember he was just pickpocketed and they stole pudding? <laughs> <laughs> now imagine a room. Right, yes. That. Um, um Vivaldo? You look over you look over and I have using my new spoon on the other pudding patch. Of course you are. Of course you Vivaldo? are. Vivaldo. <laughs> we right. were gone yeah. to Forest Grove for a month. And on the way home, he was eating the bacon grease from the bottom of his pouch from when we were back in Severn Rivers, and we hadn't even gotten back there yet. So so oh. Reed is like a squirrel. And hoarding food in his room, you're thinking. Zombie squirrel on meth kind of thing, I'm thinking. Oh, and right. the I'm thinking a, a science experience. project. Hamster with like three or four separate sacks per cheek. Yeah. Of squirrel, each head. Squirrel's a good thing. You know what? That reminds me one but, time where we were surrounded gibberous. by squirrels. If we do not think that the squirrel incident. Like thousands of them. All right, hear me you out. Would, uh, Reed was uh, okay, yeah, thousands and thousands of squirrels. We never let Hannibal out of Reed's room. Somehow uh, Hannibal might like tweet it of... by eating everything in there. <laughs> exactly. What if the Bonnie? But what if he just completely breaks, takes can care he of it get all? through the door? Though could he eat his way through a door if he wanted to get out? Like, the door. Eldred says, if we time it properly. <laughs> It, he might actually turn Reed's room into that, what was that you said, Kalanda, the sensory deprivation room that just <laughs> yes. is totally devoid of everything? So let me wow. get this straight. We're talking about leaving a 
rabbit that we think might be sentient, locked in a room with no food, to slowly consume the inedible items in there till its mass grows to the point where it can't escape. And it's I'm sorry, do you care about the rabbit's well being now? How big well, well, is well, it? Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You are not, what you were saying is what Reed has been doing with that rabbit for 80% of the time he's had it. Yeah, who do you think keeps feeding the damn You thing? do. Me. Yes. <laughs> Fuck. Damn it. And guys just start to the stone's throw. <laughs> yep. And yes, we say, care for the rabbit's well-being. Uh, until it this is fucking the, doesn't Never again is anyone allowed to get pets. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah. Thanks, Reed. <laughs> Thanks for wrecking Sorry. it for all the rest of us. Elder goes, <laughs> and this is why we can't have we nice are. things, Reed. I'm sorry. Because they, they eat my necromastiff. <laughs> I just think that it could perhaps become sort of like one of those tales you hear about where you go into this this place that is forbidden, people speak ill of it, and you go there and there's like this giant monster there to, to fight and battle, and it's guarding something, and I don't know what Hannibal Reed's corpse. would be. But he's here. It would have eaten that. Be... No, no, no this, this is in the future where, you know. Oh, yeah. bones. After it craps him out. The bones. <laughs> right. I, I have <laughs> cheeks full of pudding and I'm just listening to all of this. No, I I totally see where you're going with this, Vivalda. But I am a little, I kind of like the bunny. It's 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 a fuckhead. But, All right. You know. Um, let's just see what we can do. Let's Should pick we it just up. stay in we'll... the sense throw, make it the last night we ever inconvenience Butterbeer? That way, for some of us who maybe haven't slept in a day or so, we have a place to sleep. I feel really bad. I, I can run back by myself and let the bunny No, out. no, no, Reed. Oh, Reed, what was the time oh, frame that people threatened you with? Kidnap and tonight. Kill us. Tonight. tonight. Stop trying to... Yeah. Why are people so trying to... So, they're going to come here themselves. tonight. We'll be at the stone's throw. What, how, it's probably about 10.30 in the morning right now. Oh, so we have plenty of time. Exactly. Because yeah. we I sleep the day away find there. Place to sleep. Some we Home Alone-style traps... Right. And then yeah, the night, but I hopefully don't get caught in next time. Holy shit. Right. In the night we can leave. Also, I only need play. four hours of rest. If everybody else is well rested, that's fine. Oh shit. Oh well wait, how much rest does Eldred need? Uh, like <laughs> ten to twelve, he says. Oh, oh right. Alright. Oh. He can sleep oh. on the bunny, perhaps. Probably. We'll see how well, we're not again. Done. Not again. Well, they just complained last time. I'm the one with the allergies. This is true. <laughs> I don't sneeze my face off and hack up a lung. You're welcome. Yeah, you just might get a hairball. <laughs> hey, we deal with Stein's that all the time throw. at the temple. I know how to handle it. It's fine. And then Hairballs? Donnie temple. Nope. Nope. Not is talking it about it. <laughs> Kalanja, is it Hadani Temple? Hadani. Oh, Hadani. Hadani. Hadani, don't you know? 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 Would you like to buy some temple cheese? Such a hoser. Hope you brought a hot dish. Such a hoser. Some pasties. Cheese curds. Yeah, you. <laughs> now you just made right, things so I still eat. walking back to the stone. Okay, stones down. Anybody, just, give me a uh, give me a roll with advantage, please. Of uh, perception. Right, sure. Roll perception. And someone rolled just a single twenty cider. I'll do it. I did horrible. I apologize. You did very horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I did middling to How's, fair. How's an okay. eight? Fine. You make it back. <laughs> you make it back to uh, the stone's throw. Gaius notices before you turn off of the the basic leave the docks. 
one of the reasons you leave the docks when you do is because he sees coming down the docks one of those patrols of what look like muscle with two students from the university. <laughs> Does someone want to tell Vivaldo what that is? You didn't see any of these, Viv? See what? <laughs> Not with There's that like role, she didn't. There's some busy <laughs> people with, uh, with, like, guards. They've, like, like people from that school that Eldred was going to go to. Like university students. But they're using some kind of magic, like they're looking for something. Oh. They're, like, like little patrols. gridding up yeah. the roads and shit. And, and, like, some go one way and some go the other way. And then, yeah, it looks like they're looking for something or someone. And, yeah. So when you, Wee. on your way back, the first ones you see are on the dock. Coming okay. down towards you and then Gaius leads everyone down an alley and you start heading up towards the stone's throw. By the time you get to the stone's throw, you see two more groups of them. On different, like, you see, you see, uh some on the warehouse, the street where all the warehouses are. And it's about four or five. They, they just look like muscle. They're, they're in, in heavy leather armor and they obviously have weaponry swords out in the open. They look kind of, they look like fighters. And with them are two, what you look like university students. And each of the university students has two sets of, of, bent sticks that are very long and they're just kind of walking the street like in a grid pattern they and then google maps <laughs> and then a little further up a couple blocks up you see one down the one street and one down the opposite end the same thing oh wow they're really out today that's a lot that's a lot of, that's a lot more than yesterday do you know what they're looking for no um, name your pick hey. i mean Hey, what are you looking for? <laughs> Hello, is it me you're looking for? Like, so many people have probably asked them this at this point. The um. So, do you the, walk the, up to some of these people, Gaius? Uh, if we get if we're getting near one at some point when we're heading back, be like, just kind of casually, like, um, what you, what you guys doing? Uh, one of the uh, people in the leather, a uh, a woman who's about twice the size of you, Gaius, and like muscles the size of your thighs, uh -huh. biceps the size of your thighs, and just uh -huh. Calandra and I are both peeking out behind like, Gaius's uh... legs, like <laughs> fuck down. <laughs> Like Is it, what are they feeding all these people? <laughs> looks at guys, on top of guys. very like, seriously. My name is Calandra. How are you? And says, uh, <laughs> we're rezoning parts of the city. Why? Do you have something you're hiding? Only this bomb the ass. <laughs> uh, <laughs> those two comments don't really work well together. What's your name, citizen? <laughs> What's your name? Which one? <laughs> Just kind of stares she, at you. Who is she talking to? To me or to Gaius? Gaius. Her focus oh. is solely on Gaius right Damn. now. Damn! <laughs> Are they where? Do they have any guardsman regalia or anything? Give me a perception check. After she so brutally rebuffed my advances. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, she's in the course of doing, uh, you know, what she's here for, so. When I see that she's kind of taking a suspicious turn with Gaius, I'm gonna, from trailing behind, come up to and be like, Hello, what are you all looking for? <laughs> She'll look at you and, and say, what's the total there, Gaius? Perception? 20. 20? Okay. Yeah. Um, looks to you, Vivalda, and just sticks up a finger and says, one moment, please. Oh, sorry. They are in leather armor that is definitely not, like, it. no guard has worn this, but the thing you do notice is all 
five of these people with these students have that pin, that brooch that you saw when you first entered this city on the bodyguard of that person you met your first day here. The first day when we got back from Forest Grove? No, when you first came to Seven Rivers. Oh, wait, God. The frickin'... It's a, bro it's a brooch with the, uh, with the heraldry of the palace. Not the, uh, not the guy we saved all the way back, way back when. The one you led to the stone's throw that very first day. Oh. Not the, the one that we led to the stone's throw, or the one that... He had a bodyguard. Oh, God, what the hell was his name? Um... Oh, is this the one you rescued? This, oh, shit. What was this? this was the day that the stone's throw, there was an ambush in the middle of the stone's throw. And you got, oh, you got the, uh, they left the paperwork underneath the table that yeah. Reed found. Yeah, what was, uh, we had, what's, sorry, all my notes got deleted, so. That's fine, but you remember this back. brooch because that person that you led to that meeting had this mm. had a person with him that he called his escort that had this brooch with him on which he told you allowed him to carry his weapon openly by permission of the uh, palace he, I'm just uh, anyway that's what you recognize Gaius that is the only thing cuz everything else just looks like it's their own armor it's no it's leather armor but it's not it's not like there's no heraldry or anything like that on it. I know it's not Octavia or whatever it is, but Octavius, Octavia, because that's a woman. Was right. Wasn't there a, a Lord uh, Hetfield, Lord Ulrich Lord or Ulrich? No, Lord Ulrich is the one I uh, myself, Reed, mm -hmm. and Eldrin had saved. Past the North Sea, okay, in the Wayback Machine, and said, "Come if you need." Or it's like, "Look me up when you get to Seven Rivers area," which we still haven't done, by the way. Put a pin in that, because um, <laughs> we got other shit to deal with. Um, so while you're just thinking and and looking like you're rebooting, there, guys, <laughs> this uh, female turns to Vivalda and says. Mm -hmm. Terribly sorry. Uh, we are... They're looking to re possibly rezone the city, so we're just doing the preliminary things necessary. Oh. Oh, I was wondering, is that it? Because I just was noticing someone of your obvious strength and skill. I mm. thought you would have been doing something a bit more fancy or high class. Oh, I'm just a simple employee, miss. Uh, the city really? is very dangerous. And these poor kids just need some protection in this day and age now that things have gone very dangerous in the city, you know, yes. what with the terrorist activities and all. Well, it's very noble of you to be doing something of, of this. I feel like you could be doing something a bit more, maybe higher paying, but I feel like this is very noble of you to choose to do. Well, this is very easy to do, and the pay pays well. Well, that is good. I'm glad to hear that. Do you know why they're rezoning the city? They really don't tell us anything like that. I just know I that understand. that's why we're we're walking with these kids. Orders are orders. I understand. Well, thank you. Have a good day. Be safe. You as well. And Nikita and Kalandra kind of gives you a slight grin as they continue on. Which is nice. Like, by the Hedonic oh, Temple oh. any night. Any night. <laughs> kind of gives you a look and is like... And then continues on. Yeah, that's a whole lot of horse shit, by the way. Yeah. As we continue on. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Also... Yeah. Also... <laughs> Uh, for the uninformed, those brooches were worn by people when we were originally in Stone's Throw. There was an ambush of some scholarly types 
and we found some notes way back when that I'm sure I got somewhere that uh, basically read kind of uh, suspect from what we could get from it about, uh, what was it? Um, I think it was some end time stuff was the vibe I think I got, or maybe I'm confusing that with the dreams I had. I get some very, some very dark stuff happening around here. But um, I finished. I finished my pudding. That was. Did, did you, How was did your you pudding, lick Reed? the pocket clean? No, oh, I could turn it inside out. Probably get a little bit more. Oh. Reed, did you ever try the spiders that me and Colangelo bought? Ooh, no. I don't want to eat spiders. So that's You'll eat pocket pudding made <laughs> of spiders. <laughs> So, you know, Reed, this pudding was kind of, the casing was a very, very dark purple that bordered on brown. The actual inside had some chunky bits and was kind of like a purple lavender thickness consistency to it. And at points were, was very crumbly and very Ooh. wet feeling on the inside. Because you, the pudding started off as actually almost like a very soft, large sausage. <laughs> okay. Just so you know. So I made a so I, I made a mess. I'm wearing chunks on my face, basically. Yeah, it just it's like yeah. this lavendery kind of mm -hmm. lavender reddish mixture around your oh, face with little pudding, right? little bits of grainy, what might be soft cookie crumbs that are like black cookie crumbs or something but there was there was chunks in there as well well yeah. i i take the i take the scarf that i was using to cover my face and i i go to put it back up on my face and i just kind of okay <laughs> big <laughs> smear of like purple yeah. purple <laughs> all over right his lower green. part of his face <laughs> it's it's kind of here and here and everywhere in between and on here as well. Oh, I have to wash up. <laughs> right. By the way, what happened to the Brothers Green? Did they go to the Hedonic Temple as well? <laughs> no. no. no they, they took oh, their leave of us before that happened. That is quite the uh, silver lining right there. <laughs> Eldred <laughs> says, and the visual. A little yeah. late for that now, though. All right, are we here mm -hmm. at the stone's throw? Can we all watch? <laughs> yes, you make lavender? it. You make it to the stone's throw, and what? what do you do when you're at the stone's throw? I'm gonna get some food to um, take up to Hannibal. Yeah, keep watch. You still have breakfast stuff in your other pouch. Okay, that works. Okay. Up How does my room I go? Mm -hmm. What time is it? It's probably early afternoon at this point. Okay. I'll take whatever belongings I have in my room and then mm -hmm. probably keep watch outside. Outside the building? Yeah, just, well, sort of, kind of like maybe the doorway area. That way I can keep watch to see if anybody has followed us or is waiting for us to come out. Okay. Oh, anybody else uh, doing but... anything of significance? We've got Reed going up to feed Hannibal. I, I informed Vivalda that um, we were very unobservant for the past several months, and we didn't realize there was a third floor on the stone store. So apparently, there's nobody up there right now. But that's that's where that's where guys set a trap, and then Eldred roasted to the guy. I see. Are you sure you don't anyway. want to take a nap first, and we can keep an eye out, and then? Sure, if, if one of you are able, I could take a nap here, yes. Yeah, let's do that, because you're the quick one, and then we can sure. talk to uh, we can talk to Butterbeer, and hopefully he won't hate us. I'll see y'all in about four hours, then. Okay, and that seems like a really good well. place to stop for the evening. Make it stop! <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Uh, have a wonderful evening. Tune in next week to see what happens with any of this. Same Grognard time, same Grognard channel. And as always, 
be kind.